Okay, audio check, quick check. Looks like everything is good to go.
Okay, hello, good morning. I, oh my god. Okay, so nothing, nothing crazy happened over the weekend. I mean, I just want to preface. I know there's a lot going on with the Twitch platform. We're not going to talk about it. Because I don't feel like I have... Not that I don't have enough information, because like I feel like I've been keeping up with most everything. You know, I got Hassan stream on in the background, in my ear. No, I'm kidding. I don't have an earpiece. Um, but I just feel like <clears throat> I don't want to be a, a farmer, you know? We're here to have fun. We're here to escape all the drama, all the bullshit. So just nobody talk about it. If anybody comes in and asks questions, just ignore them. I'm going to ignore them as well. No farming, no farming. We're here to play Mario Kart. We're here to have fun. We're playing video games, like the platform is supposed to be, right? <laughs> Not a drama platform. Um, let's see, any big, any big updates over the weekend? Oh my god. Yeah, only game, <laughs> only gamers here. I want gamers today. So, chatters, chatters, chatters. If you were here on Sunday, two days ago, we did a secret subscriber-only Meg Esports event. We played Mario Party. The VOD is up, so if you want to watch it. It'll be under the videos tab, because <clears throat> I decided to keep that VOD up. I know I said before, I want to keep all sub-only streams um, unlisted or put to the YouTube, but I feel like that stream was like a banger. It was good. <laughs> Don't talk about, you know what, right, exactly. We're not going to talk about it. It's in the corner of our room, we're not going to talk about it. We're not going to talk about the huge elephant, or rather a mammoth in the room right now. We're not going to talk about it. <laughs> And then, so the Sunday stream was crazy. It was actually crazy. We did four rounds of Mario Party, and the stakes were if a chatter wins Mario Party, then they get a VIP badge. If anybody who wasn't there, it was crazy. Out of the four games we played, I won three. I won three of them. Because, like, out of all the games, I suck at the minis, my but my luck and RNG is insane. I usually clutch in every single Mario Party game I play offline, and I guess on stream. So, only one chatter got a VIP on Sunday. It was crazy. It was crazy. Hi, bye. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well today, hun. Um, so that was Sunday. Oh, Chatters, the other big announcement. I am going to soon start streaming on my alt account, which is peace in underscore art. I'm going to start doing art streams because as you guys know, on the, sorry, I'm getting out the camera, on the Sunday stream, I tested out this new camera. It's lower price point, but it's basically full HD. I'm gonna have to do a bit more troubleshooting on it, on it because the HD wasn't as nice as I thought it was on stream. But I gotta troubleshoot that a bit more offline. So, I have most everything we need for the art channel. Drop the follow. Thank you, let's go. I think when I checked last, we were at 12 followers. So everybody go follow the art channel. Change my wallpaper, I'll do that in a second. Thank you, hacker. Um. So the art channel is basically gonna have me do <clears throat> like a painting hopefully every week that's gonna that's probably most likely gonna launch in October because I'm still waiting for like certain art supplies to come in the mail. I need to get gesso and varnish in. Cause I have I have a decent amount of paints. But yeah. So chatters go follow the art channel that'll launch soon. Um let me change the wallpaper now actually. We haven't changed this paper in nearly like two weeks, so Thank you for redeeming, Hacker. Okay, I am wearing shorts today. That could have been bad. <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, what's a nice way of saying it? If I'm in front of any camera, I will be decent. Like, I have my computer and my camera facing away from my bed for a reason, okay? I ain't ever gonna leak nothing. Like, I would never, I would never in my stream set up have my bed in the set. I think that'd be crazy. I think it's wild. I was gonna pay more wallpapers, but chatters. Chatters. I leaked this on Sunday, but if you didn't watch Sunday, Megan might be moving by the end of the year. Oh my god! So, I don't want to make more wallpapers just yet. Because these wallpapers are made just for this corner of the room. So I don't want to make anything new if I'm gonna leave the house. Like I said on Sunday, 
it's not set in stone or anything, so it's still in negotiations. But if we get the place that we're looking at, I would have a whole stream room that's not in my bedroom. So, like I said, nobody have too high hopes because it's still in negotiations, but I'm... I don't pray, but I'm praying it works out. Anyway. Hopefully we'll have that figured out in, like, the next month or two, so. It'll be going on in the background chatter, so be nice to me. Um. Oh, the main event of today! <laughs> oh, wow. I was like, there was one more thing. Chatters, chatters, chatters. We are nearing the end of the month. It is already September 20th. Crazy. Isn't that wild? But you know what time it is. It's time for the monthly Meg Esports Tournament, which we're going to be practicing for today. So it'll be this Sunday, 11 a.m. PST stream will start at 10, because the lobby will be open from 11 till 12 p.m. Turning. We're going bananas, exactly. <laughs> so that'll be on this Sunday. It'll be bananas only, so we're going to be practicing for that today with that game mode. As always, whoever gets top three will get VIP for the month of October. So everybody who got VIP in August will have their badge taken away and given to this month's top three. I hope we have a full lobby. I, I think we basically had a full lobby last month. So let's see if we can do that again this month. I'm excited. I think this weekend's Mario Party stream went very well. I did talk about it on Sunday. But what I've decided from this point on is... um, What is it? We will do one subscriber-only Maggie Sports event in the middle of the month. But we're still going to keep the Mario Kart tournaments as open for everyone at this point because what I did like about the Sunday stream is we had no snipers we had no sweats so that was really nice so the Meggy sports micro tournament streams will be open to everybody for probably till the end of the year until unless the channel does grow substantially by the end of the year but we'll see we'll see so that'll be this Sunday <laughs> imagine sweating no we got some hardcore sweats in chat I know we do which is fine it's totally fine I don't Okay, it's not that I don't care, but it's like, ah, eh, whatever. Imagine being 12 points short of being third. I think that was you, hon. I think that was you. <laughs> what did I get last month? Like, the second to last? <laughs> um, okay, okay, enough stalling. Let's go ahead and play the goddamn game. Back to the normal game scene. Fog you. Oh, before we get started, let's get our sub goal up. Chatters did go kind of crazy on Sunday. I got... I got a total of 26 subs on Sunday. So that means we hit two sub goal streams. Goal for today is going to be 80. But we unlocked the Cult of the Lamb stream and then Kirby's Dream of Face stream. So that will be in the upcoming weeks. I think I want to try and schedule them for weekends. But I'll keep you guys posted on it. But our learn time sub goals is if we hit 80 subs again, it'll be Splatoon 3. 90 subs is Monkey Ball. And then 100 is Fortnite. I can love Fortnite. I, I literally have never played, so I'm dreading that stream. But, let's get started, guys. Okay, so we're gonna do... Why am I sitting on my desk? <laughs> I need to sit up straight. I've only played, like, a little bit of Splatoon 3, and I was like, it's fine. Because my sister, she was playing with the tilt controls, and it was really off-putting. Oh, I got scared. I was like, is there no bananas only mode? Fuck. <laughs> anyway, but we had to disable the the motion control camera and it was a, a lot easier to play. Because I keep on seeing clips of people like sniping each other in Splatoon and that looks fun. Otherwise, the game looks kind of boring. Okay, I think that's solid. <clears throat> so, Chatters, we're doing bananas only to practice for this Sunday's Mario Kart tournament. If you participate and get top three, you will get VIP in chat for a whole month. I expect everybody to be there. If you're not there, you're a fake fan. <laughs> okay, we're also going to be doing predictions every single race as usual. It's not gambling, it's gamba. Totally different. So, Chatters, do you think I will get first? The only thing that's going to be kind of 
difficult with this game mode. It's gonna be kind of similar to the bob on kind of what we did a bit ago. You just have to be more cautious of everything that's on the road, I guess. Yes, we did unlock Cult of the Lamb and Kirby's Dream Buffet on Sunday. So, I'm gonna have to figure out when I want those streams to be. Oh, but dude, I almost had that turn mailed! <laughs> dude, I literally had it. It'll probably be maybe this upcoming weekend because October 1st is a Saturday and that's gonna be the calligraphy stream, right? So we might be able to do it that Sunday, so maybe next weekend, but I gotta see my schedule. Because we're going on a house tour this Saturday, so I want to make sure I have, like, time available to do stuff. Oh my god, Chatters, I was on the phone for, like, an hour earlier today trying to get my benefits set up. Because I've never applied, so I didn't have, like, an ID number or anything. Oh, there's so many bananas. Mines everywhere. Dude, I nailed that turn. Easy. Wait, so I thought it was something funny, but I don't know if I want to say the joke. Because this is a joke I have in like, fuck, in like one of my draft tweets. <laughs> Dude, there's so many bananas on the ground. Why is there so many? Okay, the computers are actually pretty good at placing them, surprisingly. Okay, this is one of the few tracks that I genuinely have to focus on. Hey, yo, perfect! Should I go pro? Ne never mind. <laughs> no! Okay, never mind, never mind. I was gonna say something else about being on the phone, but I forgot. Oh, uh, we had Mac in the offline screen before stream started. And I was like, you know, I don't have a lot of story times today because I didn't do anything this weekend. Oh! I thought I won! So I was like, chatters have to give me topics to talk about. You know, you guys have to do work today. If you drive off the map like that, you shouldn't go bro, I know. It was funny. I was in um my friend's Discord server and there was like, what's your Mario Kart online score? And I was like, it's 6,000. Cause like, I don't think 6,000 is that crazy of an amount. But they're like, oh my God, that's a lot. I'm like, really? And I was like, some motherfuckers who got like 50K and I only got 6,000. Did I get first? Yes, I did. No way to win here. <laughs> Damn it, I almost saved it. <laughs> Sorry, I got scared. Can I, wait, it can only go up to- wait, what is that? 9,000? No way! I thought it was 900,000. Wait, is that true? Never mind. I thought 50k points was a thing. Am I- is 6,000 really a decent score? We'll have to look at that when we play online then. Or, chat, or somebody Google what's the max online score you can have. Stop driving off the map. You know, I did say I want gamers today, but I don't want backseat gamers. Backseat gamers are kind of cringe. Fuck! I mean, frick. I've been trying to curse less on stream, and I've been failing completely. Because when I was editing some videos for, like, YouTube highlights, I was like, oh my god, I'm cursing way too much. Because, for me, I curse because I think it's funny. Like, I never curse because I'm actually legitimately mad. Because I remember when we did the Cookie Mama stream, I opened up the stream and I was like, you know, I'm gonna not curse. But then I still curse like three or four times. Oh, talking about that, the YouTube highlight video will be posted on Saturday this week. So chatters, um, exclamation YouTube and chat goes up to my main channel. We're gonna have more stream highlights available on there soon. Okay, we're in second only left two, not doing too bad. This doesn't feel like 200cc. This feels somewhat slow in my opinion. Like, it's nothing too crazy. Oh, they fell off? They got ratioed? And yo saved? Oh, it is 99,000? See, that's what I thought. 
hacker trying to gaslight me once again. Okay. What I'm noticing so far is that the computers will tend to place the bananas in the literal middle of the path. And I don't know how people will place them IRL. And the difficulty with this track, since the track is yellow itself, it's kind of hard to see the bananas. So we'll see how Sunday goes. Chatters, chatters, if you're just coming in. I am practicing for the Meg Esports Bananas Only Tournament on Sunday. So chatters, be there or be square. Oh my god, my... my. So I have to text my sister real quick. Gaslight, keep, keep, girl boss, exactly. Because <clears throat> I'm in the process of applying for like, government assistance, because Chatters know I'm unable to work. And she was asking me about it. That's why I was on the phone for a friggin' hour, almost. Anyway, Chatters, go Gamba. <laughs> you know, Gamba, your channel points, not your own money. Well, that was a good head start. I feel like bananas only is gonna be a lot less annoying than bombs. Because with the bomb mode, you could like blast several people, but bananas is usually just gonna be you spinning up. So I feel like it won't be nearly as aggravating. You thought your sub expired today? Um, usually, if you have like a gifted, it'll say like, oh, your ex sub expires in this many days. So, like, over the normal subscription box, so it should tell you. And you know what? If you can't afford to subscribe, link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Or you can save up channel points and I will gift you a sub if you spend 15,000 points. Okay, those lines were actually horrible. Oh, there's so many! <laughs> I'll be my resident oiler instead. I mean, why not, right? Dude, if I had money, I would totally be an oiler. I can love donating to streamers. But then, like, I'm at a point to where I'm like, I can't afford to do that anymore. I've basically have held off gifting subs for a bit. <gasps> oh, Thank you for that prime sub! But thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Thanks for the stream, streamer. Thank you. I'm glad you like the stream so, Batty. I think Batty's my favorite chatter. Because they have my favorite type of chat style. But enjoy the emails, man. Imagine we talk about primers and we get a primer. Crazy! I'm gonna hit! How am I in fifth? I'm in sixth? I fell off. <laughs> okay, honestly, this is one of my worst maps, so I'm not too upset about it. I am honored. You put- you should be on it. <laughs> no! I didn't even realize I was that close to the front. If I had not, like, flown too high to the sun. I didn't even realize, because I was like, no shot I can get first at this point. God damn. Oh, um, Batty, since you resubscribed to the Prime, you're gonna get your name written at the end of stream. So look forward to that, man. I don't think... Batty, I don't think you've ever gotten in the sub journal, because I think you've gotten lucky and gotten gifted, like, every single month you've been in stream. <laughs> so... <laughs> Little Mo. Dude, imagine getting gifted every month. Kind of crazy. I wish that would happen to me. Like, I watched Hassan for, like, a solid year, never getting a gifted sub. But then I still started... Because I've been watching him for... Almost two years at this point. Um. <laughs> Every time I went to prom, I got gifted a sub right before. I mean, that's pretty cool. Oh, 
I think out of all my Twitch subscriptions, let's see, who am I subscribed to? In terms of like paying subscriptions, because I have Twitch Turbo Chowders. If you know what Twitch Turbo is, um, look it up. Or if you don't know, look it up. It's pretty cool in Pogu. But let's see. I have I use my Prime, and then I subscribe to I think four channels that are like paying subscriptions. <coughs> But then there's like a few channels that I'm debating if I want to subscribe to because like I want the emotes. To me, the only reason I'm going to subscribe to somebody since I have turbo is if they have like really good emotes. Or if I'm in their chat all the time. Because I was thinking about it the other day. And I know people rag on like the spam chat rooms or like the emote or the copy pastas, but I know in order for me to feel comfortable in a chat room, even just like, oh, the reason I was thinking about this, I was watching um, Bruce Drop him off something high stream like a week ago. And like their whole chat, I know it's the cliche, but it's just like W and like Lamau and like stupid shit like that. But I found myself spamming Lamau and W throughout their stream because it's it's like hide my mentality. You want to feel a part of it. And even just typing like common phrases or emotes will encourage people to be more active in your stream community during the live. That's why I think it's cool when chatters come up with different metas. Like, I still think the Peace I2 Smile meta is the best chat meta we've ever had. Even though it's not nearly as common nowadays, but it's still, like, a really good meta we had. Did I get first? Yes, I did. <laughs> Kick W Pong Lomo. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a Kick W spammer in other people's chats. I, I'm gonna self-report. I'm a Keg W spammer. Peace I do smiles the worst meta. Yeah, hackers remain strong and never has ridiculed me and spam Peace I do smile. Okay, races are going pretty well today. I've only gotten one race that wasn't first, so I am doing really well. <clears throat> The other day I responded with Keck W IRL. Oh no! <laughs> I don't think I've ever said Keck W IRL. Like I'll still say like I'll say I'll say Pog U or Sag, but I don't think I've ever said Keck W as a response. <laughs> Even with my Twitch like friends, I'll say like Pog and shit, but not Keck W. <laughs> Hi Rose, welcome in. Hope we're doing well today, huh? Oh fuck, I, put a I screwed up the line! I love saying foggers to make my friends cringe. <laughs> so I have a friend, they're not too into Twitch, like they'll watch some of like voice streams. Cause he loves voice YouTube. But what was it? What did I say? No, I said like Omega Lol. I think it was. I I will say Omega Lol like colloquial, colloquial, you know. And he was like, "You need to stop." You were like, "They were like, you know, you watch too much Twitch." I'm like, "You right." I was thinking about it the other day, and I had I had a strong feeling that YouTube was my favorite like video watching platform. But I find myself opening Twitch and watching streams, even when like my non favorite streamer creator is live. Because the thing with streams is that in order for people to watch you regularly, they have to get used to your commentary, used to your stream style. <laughs> like, you're not gonna like a streamer instantly. Because the way that streams are set up, like, it's not like it's full, like, punchy, super engaging entertainment the whole time. You have to get used to their vibe. Like, in order for me to, like, justify subscribing or justify watching somebody regularly, I have to watch probably, like, three or four of their streams. Cause I have to get used to their voice and their connotation and their commentary style. Like, I still have my favorites, but there are some people that I'll watch occasionally. <laughs> I got first! <laughs> Twitch is literally your browser's homepage? Oh no, see, I think that's a problem. That's a big red flag. <laughs> YouTube streams don't feel right. It's the chat room. The chat room isn't there. Because... I feel like it takes a while to cultivate your chat room like community or like their style. 
And if you look at the type of messages you see in a YouTube chat, it's a lot of people try to get the person's attention directly. Like, there's not nearly as much, like, emote spam, because they don't have, like, good emotes, I think. Chat on YouTube feels like bots? Sometimes I agree, yeah. Like, it doesn't feel like they're real people trying to, like, entertain themselves or others in the chat room. Because the way that I see chatting is, like, I, I, me as a chatter, every single message I feel like has to be additive to what the stream is saying, or the streamer is saying, or what the chat is saying. Because I will try and say, like, something funny, usually. Like, I usually don't try to, like, derail the conversation or talk about other topics. Because I feel like that's disrespectful to some aspect. <laughs> because I think people have to realize, especially the viewers who just watch small streamers and then they don't like watching big streamers, you have to understand that the streamer is not there just to entertain you. It's not like it's just you two hanging out. You're, they're trying to entertain everybody who's watching. So don't ever feel like you're entitled to your streamer's attention. That's why, like, I don't read every single chat message still. Unless- I only read stuff if I feel like it's additive to what we're saying. Or it's productive. Or it's funny and I can, like, add something to it. I think it's kind of cringe when people read every single message still. Especially if your chat is getting, like, 10 messages a minute. Then you're spending your whole stream just reading chat and it's not entertaining in my opinion. Oh! There's so many! Oh, I'm dodging like a bro. Hey yo, easy! Guys, I'm crushing today. Also, keep in mind, we're playing with computers. That's probably why. <laughs> Which is totally fine. I'll take it there whenever I can get one. Oh, I'm, I'm looking at my chat being like, why can't I fucking see anything? It's because... <laughs> you can change, like, the font size, and I always forget to change the font size to big, because I am blind. Give me attention. Uh, or like, okay, to me, literally the most annoying chatter, not just for me as the streamer broadcasting, but me as a chatter seeing other people chat this way. I hate when I see people spam the same message over and over again because the streamer didn't even wrong it. It's like, bro, they didn't read it for a fucking reason, okay? <laughs> you don't have to keep spamming the same message every 30 seconds to a minute just because they didn't answer your question. There's a reason why they didn't answer your question. It, it literally makes me so mad. Because, like, sometimes streamers will, like, look at logs, whether it be, like, during, like, an unbanned forum stream, or, like, pull up their logs live on stream, and they'll say the same goddamn thing for, like, an hour straight, ten times in that hour, and it's like, Honey, we don't want to talk about that. If you keep repeating it, it's, it's just, I, I don't get it. It's like the kid in class who asks the same question every day. It's annoying. I think I did that to you once? Maybe. There's been a few chatters who have done it, but usually I try and pinpoint it. And, like, I think my chat room has been pretty good for the past, like, month or two. Like, we haven't had anybody annoying. Oh, maybe... I'm trying to think back to... Because you followed a bit ago, Hacker. Back in April, so it's been a hot minute. But usually, if a chatter is annoying, I will correct that behavior fairly quickly because I don't want it to persist. Because the thing is, it, the thing is, when you let things slide, they're not going to learn from those mistakes, and they're just going to keep being fucking annoying. So it's like I'd rather be firm with people from the start. <clears throat> but everyone's fairly good for the most part. I think it's because we don't have a lot of, like, young, young people watching. I know that Nintendo does gravitate, like, a, a younger, like, age demographic. But I don't think we have any, like, younger people. By younger, I mean, like, 13, 16. Oh, th talking about people repeating messages... The people who, like, in, I see this all the time, like, bigger streamers chat. 
where like they at the streamer in the chat or use the highlighted message channel redemption redeem oh it <laughs> i'm sure it bothers the streamer but it bothers me as a chatter too because in my head i'm like oh my god they're literally baiting for attention it's so cringe Like, I know me as a viewer, my feelings don't get that hurt if my message doesn't get read if it's in, like, a smaller or slower chat room. Like, it doesn't bother me anymore. I know when I first became, like, a new Twitch viewer, it did kind of bother me, but at this point, I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> uh, in my head, I'm just like, I just need to be more entertaining. Easy. That's why chatters don't ever feel bad if I miss a message. Or if I ignore something. <laughs> I don't necessarily do it on purpose all the time, unless it's like a message that I don't want to... Uh, oh! <laughs> unless I don't want to like engage with it. When they add them in another stream is chat to go live. I don't think I've seen that too often. I, okay, the only time I might have done that myself. I'm gonna self-report a little bit. But, um, Heaterly doesn't go live nearly as often as she should, which I understand because there's, like, other circumstances going on, but <laughs> I still clown on her a little bit. If I see her in another chat, I'm like, hey, go live. I think I've only done that, like, once or twice. <laughs> I think it's one of those things where, like, I think it's fine to goof and gap with the people as long as you know they're joking, you know? Because I will- I definitely feel a lot more comfortable joking with friends than, like, Randos, I guess. <laughs> well, this race might actually go well. Because since it doesn't loop, I will probably less likely run- I will probably run over bananas less likely. Can I talk? <laughs> okay, if I stay in the front, then I'm set. Easy dub. Okay, I'm trying Should I make the tournament 200cc? Would people get mad? Tab 1? <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> Wait, should it be type 1 if you want 200cc or type 1 if you get mad? I didn't clarify. Hmm. Because I feel like 150 is way too slow. I think we'll ask chat on Sunday if we want to do 200cc or not. I think we'll run a poll. You don't like this map this much? Really? I think it's fine. The only part I don't like is the, I guess, the second lap. Because the lines are a bit too wiggly for me. I like the first part a lot. The first section is pretty solid. But the music? Pretty banging. Oh! Whoopsie. Okay. You think it's overrated? I think you're overrated. You sound like a freaking hipster right now. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Unless. <laughs> Chat won 200 CC. No, I, I think we'll do a vote on Sunday. Because I think there was one tournament where we voted and people voted no. And then another one, people voted yes. And then everybody got mad at me. For chatters voting a majority 200 CC. So... Either way, I don't fucking win. I never win. I can never make everybody happy. That? Okay, wait. I'm gonna hold for a clip. I'm gonna hold the farm a clip. Okay, chatters hold. Talking about making people happy. Talking about clipping, chatters. If you like the stream and there's a funny haha -ha moment, clip it during the live. I'd appreciate it. <laughs> okay, I need, I need to think about what I'm gonna say. Because this, this is, like, philosophical Megan arc, okay? Wow. 
See, like, I'm the type of person to where I'm very passive, and, like, I'm very much a pushover, but over the past few years, I've come to realize that people always prioritize themselves in most situations. So, you know what? I can be a little bit selfish sometimes. I can stand up for myself. I can speak my mind if I want to. Like, I've become a lot more blunt and brazen over the years, but then it's like... If you don't speak up and stand for yourself, who's going to, right? And that's something that I've been battling with a lot recently in the past year. But... I feel like it's for the better. Like, I'm not gonna let people boss me around or push me around anymore. That's why, like... I don't play games, typically. Like, when it comes to, like, calling or texting people. It's like, I'll be very straightforward. Because he's like, I'm not going to allow any misconceptions to happen. You know, I can be assertive if I need to. Like, I ain't going to be used and abused anymore. Because as I was saying earlier, you can't make everybody happy. No matter what you do, somebody's going to get annoyed or mad at you. To some capacity. Especially if you're wanting to pursue, like, an online career. Like, you're always gonna face hate, you're always gonna face criticism, so as long as you know what you do in your mind is the right thing to do, it's important not to beat yourself up too much about it. Because <laughs> I'll get comments occasionally on YouTube saying that, oh, you're not funny or you're fat, and it's just like, la mal. I like, I don't care! <laughs> Granted, it's not at a point where I get, like, a massive amount of negative comments, but it's at a point where it's like, it's not gonna bother me. Like, I'm self-confident enough to know my worth and my values, so I'm not gonna let it bother me. <laughs> that doesn't mean everybody should go brigade and say mean things. That's very evil and bad. Don't do that. But look at that, I nailed that race. Easy clap. And people say I'm bad at the game. <laughs> Imagine. Okay, I just got something in my eye. Is that karma? I knew that was gonna happen. I am gripping my controller so hard right now. In my mind, I feel like it helps, but I know it doesn't. I think it's also because if I don't grip her hard enough, it's gonna fall out of my hands, because that's happened a few times. Dude, I'm dodging these bananas like a pro? a single banana but I failed. Guys, should I quit? <laughs> okay, chatter shatters. If I do move, I'm just gonna say I'm gonna clickbait. I'm gonna clickbait. I'm gonna do a stream. It's gonna be just chatting. The title's gonna be I quit. I was gonna say I'm gonna take the whole set down but literally my whole set is just this chair and the wallpaper. I think that'd be funny. Thoughts? Okay, I have no worries about not getting first. I'm so far ahead right now. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> I mean, like, it'd be, it'd be a lot more believable if I had, like, a shelf behind her or something and I took everything down. Wouldn't that be crazy? But I literally just have the wallpaper. Talking about quitting? No, I don't, I don't have a segue. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, this one's gonna be hard because the sand is yellow. Wait, is the banana one gonna be hard for the colorblind people? Is that gonna be a problem? I didn't think about that. Anyway, let's race. I think it's so sad when you see like YouTubers or small creators decide to quit streaming or making videos. Because I feel like a lot of people go into content creation with the hopes of like having a creative outlet or to make some type of money from it. But a lot of the times, to me, there's like three main reasons why people quit. One, because they didn't see a lot of success in a short amount of time. Two, they either face like a lot of outside criticism or hate from people online. Or it's just like out of their- or circumstances in their life that are out of their control. Because I keep telling myself that I want to keep streaming as long as people like it and people watch, but if I had to get a real job, like even if it was part-time for like even 20 hours a week, I don't think I could handle streaming since I'm still doing college. Like I'm gonna keep doing it for as long as I can. Because it's still, like, a really positive thing for me. Like, I think the main reason why it bothers me a lot when I see people quit is when you see, like, their passion for something has disappeared. That's a really disheartening thing to see, in my opinion. Do you have colorblind people? I think one chatter said they have, like, some red-blind colorness. Or red-green colorblindness. I know some people have, just in general, I don't know about chatters that are in my chat room, some people have trouble differentiating different shades of color from another. One of my friends, they have the red-green color blindness, but they, they'd still be able to drive because they can tell which color on the traffic light is which. Hey, you want another dub? just gonna say if you're colorblind type one but then it's like how about you don't like expose yourself <laughs> don't do that i think the type one like cliche chat thing is my favorite <laughs> it's my favorite thing to do now I, I i think i hear it a lot in like nmp stream because at least once a stream people are like do you guys hate me type one and it's so funny <laughs> Because, like, everybody types one, and you know, like, everybody's trolling and goofing, but it's still really funny. I was looking at my Twitch stream summary settings this morning, from the Sunday stream, and they have this new function to where it tells you which part of your stream is your chat the most active. And it was interesting. Because just when comparing my chatter count to my viewer count, it's fairly high for most streams. Because in my opinion, if about 10% of your viewers are chatting, that's normal. So for example, if you got 10 people watching, you should have at least one person regularly chatting. And then so on. So if you have 100 viewers, probably 10 people will be chatting. But during your normal stream, you usually have like... Are there 40 to 50% of people actually chatting? And that's a really good thing. Because it shows that people are engaging to the fullest capacity when they're watching the stream, which is really good. Because, okay, honestly, me as a viewer, I think it's super cringe if you have, like, a decent viewer size and then your chat is dead. Like, not to criticize, <laughs> like, the Twitch front page streams or, like, the featured streams, but usually the chat room is dead when compared to like the viewer count but that's because the views are embedded for a front page stream easy that course wasn't that bad i usually hate that one but it wasn't that bad today am i improving imagine <clears throat> I 
I love this course. I'm still learning it, but it's one of my favorites. <laughs> you guys wanna hear something funny? <laughs> oh wait, I'm gonna farm for a clip. I'm gonna farm. Because honestly, I'm I don't have a lot of Mario Kart VODs to edit, so I need to farm for more clips. <laughs> Okay, so the other day, like, I had taken off my glasses, and my dad was like, do you really need to wear glasses all the time? And I was like, yeah, I kind of need to, because one of my eyes is nearsighted and the other is farsighted. So essentially, if I don't wear my glasses all the time, it's going to deteriorate one eyeball's vision over time. So I, ha I basically have to wear my glasses 24-7, which I don't mind. You know, I feel naked when I don't wear my glasses. But my dad was like, well, essentially... If one of your eyes is technically worse than the, than the other, can't you just wear, like, contact lenses? And can't you just wear one contact lens and one eye? And I'm like, what? <laughs> like, that makes no sense. <laughs> like, why would I put prescription contact lenses in only one eye? I think, is that common? Or is that DOM? Because I feel like that'd be DOM. Oh, wait. It, wouldn't it be kind of like wearing a monocle? Does anybody... Genuinely wear a monocle. I feel like that's 1950s vibes, you know? Not 2020 vibes. And then my dad, I asked him, I was like, why would I do that? He's like, your mom does that sometimes. I'm like, what? Huh? Because my mom, she hates the feeling of glasses on her face. And also, it's kind of hard for me and her to find frames because we both have like a wider head. So I know these are personally like men's frames. Because women's brains are too... They're not wide enough. My brain is too big. Okay, I'm absolutely crushing right now. After this, we'll do a little bit of online to, you know, ground myself. It's so funny. Because <laughs> I have two types of chatters that will talk about my skills. They'll be like, oh my god, you are insane at 200cc. And I'm like, thank you. I know, I'm pretty decent. And then the other handful of chatters are like, you suck in Mario Kart. But it just depends on what streams or clips they watch. <laughs> like, if it's a computer game, like, right now, I'm pretty decent. But if it's online with people who actually know how to play the game, not regular computers, then I look like dog shit. Because I don't play online often. One of the two. You're only good at the DS Mario Kart? I'm only decent at Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I think it's because I grew up playing on- uh, or I grew up playing Mario Kart Wii. So I was- I only played with motion controls on the Wii. So when I first started playing on the Deluxe, I was so off but I was like, why can I not use tilt controls? I want- I, I know some people have been telling me I should try Mario Kart Tour, like you know the mobile Mario Kart game. Like, one day I'll get to it. But the shift between joystick controls and motion controls is game-changing. I didn't realize how difficult is it is to play with motion controls. And also, <laughs> I didn't drift at all when I played on the Wii. I remember my sister would try and teach me, but I just did not understand it. Even now, I don't really understand how drifting works, but you know, I know the basics. Petition for a PSA 2 swear jar? No! I would literally be broke. I would have negative in my bank account. That would, that would be very bad. How about every time I swear chatters give me money? I think that'd be really good. I like that idea. <laughs> automatic user? Huh? Oh, automatic drift? Well, wow. <laughs> that was me, I guess. Still waiting for PSA 2 flip? What would that even look like? I can't even do a jumping jack, my guy. Have you seen me? 
I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Don't dog about my body, that's evil and mean. <laughs> but welcome in Titan, so we're doing well. I know you're talking about that TikTok posted that TikTok clip I posted today, Chatters go follow. But I didn't realize how much I swore in that clip. I was watching it back, I was like, oh my god, I did swear a lot. <laughs> Meg searching for Oilers. I'm always trying to farm, okay? You know, I'm broke, bitch. I need to farm a little bit. So Stardew Valley stream when in that case? Never. A million subs and I'll play Stardew Valley again. I actually played Stardew Valley in stream about a year ago. If you look at my old, old TikTok clips, I had a few Stardew Valley clips. But the reason why I stopped playing is I'm not the type of gamer to like try hard with those type of like grinding or I guess world building games because I, I think it's kind of not pointless, but it doesn't feel rewarding to me. So whenever I hit like the two year mark on Stardew Valley, I'm just like, what now? <laughs> I'm like, what do I do now? It's like I've got the community set I got the community center, and that's cool and all, but nothing else really to do besides decorate and build up your base. You think you saved enough points to start gambling? Nice! Remember, only gamba we, we you can afford. Dude, I cannot fucking talk today. Frickin'! Did I eat breakfast? Yes I did. I had leftover lasagna for breakfast. Touched it. <laughs> okay, would you play Animal Crossing? True, but I think Animal Crossing is a lot more complex. Or no, no, not complex. That's the wrong word. It's a lot more like there doesn't feel like there's as much pressure with Animal Crossing because, like, you know, how Stardew Valley, isn't it? One minute in game is ten minutes. Wait, no, one minute IRL is like ten minutes in game. So I feel like I need to be quick and use my time accordingly, but since Animal Crossing is like all day, like it matches IRL time, I feel like there's less stress for me to like manage my time well when I play. Crazy. You're right, hacker. Chat went crazy on Sunday. Kobobo spent like their whole bank account, I think. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. They clarified that it was all spending money, so it was fine. Oh, we're done. We're done with the computer rounds. Perfect. Tom Nook loans. It's not that bad. It's not that hard to grind money in Animal Crossing, honestly. It's not that bad. As long as you craft food and do the hot items, you can get money fairly quickly. Talking about money! Dad, as you know what time it is, we are nearly an hour into stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. But, you can avoid the ad- Fuck, I'm, I was trying to speak fast. Um, like I said, chatters, whenever I launch the art stream, we're gonna be doing, um, bi-monthly auctions, so I need to practice my speaking speed. Okay, I'm gonna try again. Chatters, you know what time it is. It's time for me to run a few minutes of ads to fill my Twitch contractual obligation. So, you can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad viewing all month long. Or, if you look at Amazon Prime to your Twitch, you can subscribe for free with an Amazon Prime sub. Also, Chatters, it is September 20th, meaning you only got 10 days left. Fuck! You only got 10 days left of September. Meaning, if you tier one, new tier one, or if you. Subscribe for multiple months in a row or upgrade from tier one to two or two to three. You get a 20% discount. Crazy. I know, crazy. So, chatters that ad is coming. After the ad, we're going to do a bit more Mario Kart. We can try maybe one more round of computers and then a little bit of online to test my actual skill. So, get some more, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. <laughs> Sub for Fear the Prime to get me the new NVIDIA GPU. I don't think I need it. The only time that my computer kind of tanks is when I stream. It's because I stream at 1080p now. It's a lot harder on my processor, which is fine. It's fine. 
because I ultimately need the better quality for reposting, so... Gamer laptop? Yeah. It, I have an Alienware M16. Um, the only reason why the processor isn't as good is because I have two capture cards plugged in and a third camera. So everything is- my USB ports are filled. That's why it's hard. 1080p is not a problem for using capture cards. Uh, uh, I'm looking at my stats right now. I'm just like, ooh. <laughs> it's on like, it's working very hard is what I'll say. But definitely OBS is 10 times better than Twitch Studio. Frick Twitch Studio. I mean, it's still technically in beta, but still, it's not the best. Did you finally switch to OBS? Yeah. I switched about like two, three weeks ago, I think. And it's been pretty smooth sailing for the most part. <clears throat> okay, let's see. We're at an hour up time. Let's do eight races with computers, and then we'll do online, finally. Finally. I was so excited to stream today, though. Because... I feel like I have this newfound, like, hope. In terms, of, like, if we are able to, like, get that property and move out by the end of the year. I feel like my mental will be so much better. So I'm just, like, I'm so happy and hopeful thinking about everything. Because I was talking to my friend about everything concerning streaming and, like, what my plans are with the art channel. And I was like, you know, give me a year. Give me a year. And I think I can do well. Because just in a year, just streaming on Twitch and also, like, cross-posting content to like TikTok and stuff I I think I've done really well in terms of like growth for a year because you hear stories of people streaming to like zero viewers for years before they see any type of success I mean I'm not super successful but I, I'm still in a better place than a lot of people my size but I was like you know give me another year because my long-term goals in terms of streaming, I don't necessarily want to be a Twitch partner. I want to be a Twitch ambassador. Because I love the platform so much. I love what people can do on the platform. I feel like there's so many creative people. And I would love to be a representation of that. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I, I think I do have NVEC encoding. Cause like, I think I have most of my settings figured out now, like I still troubleshoot a little bit offline. But streams have been going pretty smoothly since the OBS switch. I think it was just an issue with Twitch Studio that was like fucking everything up. <clears throat> it's another dub. Easy clap. And, like, the only reason why, like, my capture cards will glitch out sometimes is I think it's an actual issue with the capture card. Because since I have two, sometimes I'll switch out the capture cards. Like, I'll switch out the one between my camera and the one on my TV. But I notice only the same capture card glitches out. So it might be, like, an actual hardware issue. But a new capture card is, like, 150 bucks. So that's, like, minimal priority for me right now. Because what's nice about the new camera I got is that it doesn't need a capture card, it just registers as a USB camera. So that was really good. Yeah, I actually, <laughs> before I started streaming today, I do have a, a for an update I have to apply. And I started updating it, but because I only applied the update maybe like 10 minutes before 11 o'clock. And then after 10 minutes, it said 5% down. 
And I'm like, ah, I'll wait till after stream to update. I don't want to be late again. Hi, Mac. Welcome in. Or welcome back, rather. Oh! <laughs> oh, you know what I'm so scared of? Whenever I do start driving, I'm so scared that I'm gonna hurt somebody. Not saying that I would hit a pedestrian, because that's psychotic. But... <laughs> I'm just so scared. The one second I'm not, like, fully concentrated, like, I'm gonna get distracted and, like, hit something. I'm so scared. Or, like, I've heard stories of, like, my friends driving, and then, like, a cat or a dog will run into the road, and it's like, oh, what do you do? You just gotta cross your fingers and not hit the animal, you know? I still haven't been able to practice driving because my dad's been busy because he bought an RV a few weeks ago so he's been fixing that up and stuff. So I, I haven't had time to like actually sit and practice driving yet. So hopefully next week I can start. Watch it try and update during stream. No! I did pause updates for a week so hopefully it shouldn't do it. <laughs> Meg smoking, drinking, texting, road raging. And still being fine, uh, I've never smoked, I've never drunk in alcohol. I'm very close to not getting first. Oh, that was close, that was way too close. No, I would never. I told myself I would keep my phone in my purse on silent. Because isn't distracted driving like the leading cause of accidents on the road? Will you if you move out? Of course I'd have to drive if I move out. Obviously. Oh, I didn't do predictions, Sag. <laughs> Whoopsie, sorry gamblers. I mean gamblers. Not gamblers, gambling is bad. But hopefully I can get my license <laughs> in November. It's not distracting if you're multitasking. Blah <laughs> I think it's so funny when people try and do makeup in the car. It's like, honey, you gonna try and do your eyeliner in the moving vehicle? Are you DUM? Do drugas? No, Drug drugas are bad. They are very bad. I've thought about it and I've had people ask why I don't smoke or drink. And to put it simply, I have a very addictive personality. Because as with, there's different forms of addiction. There's like chemical, as you see with people who do drugs, and then also habitual. So, just looking at my habits and the way I conduct my daily life, I need a routine, I need that structure. So like if I integrated like, let's say smoking in the morning, I would make sure I smoke every morning and I would feel off if I didn't do it. And also like, I, I don't binge eat. But I do snack all the time because I realized recently that it's not that I'm hungry. I just like the feeling of eating. Like how like the sensation of like tasting something. That's what I like enjoy rather than actually eating the food. So I'm trying to find like healthier snacks, like things that will kind of satisfy that um need to like taste something. Or like I'll chew gum or mints instead now. What's habitual? Um, meaning you get used to doing it, so you feel like you have a need to keep doing that thing or behavior. Um, habitual addictions do include, um, what would it be? Like snacking, binge eating. I think smoking is like also a habitual and a chemical addiction. <laughs> oh, I'm that then, Lamau. <laughs> Self reporting. You always do freeze dried fruits. The sugar content in like freeze dried and then also dehydrated fruit is still fairly high. Cause I need to watch my sugar intake. So I've I've been having like nuts. Like I got a bin of cashews in the corner of my room. Breathing? No. <laughs> you have to breathe. Honey, you have to breathe. That's why I tell myself, I'm never gonna smoke, I'm never gonna drink, because I'm just gonna- I know I'm gonna get hooked onto that feeling. 
Kids don't smoke, you get a smoker's cough eventually, yeah. Just don't, just don't smoke. Don't vape either. Because a lot of people, when they vape, they feel like they need to vape to calm down. And it's like, no you don't. Vaping is bad and cringe. Ah, oh, I tried to trick. Yeah, my sister, she doesn't smoke or drink either. So if she and I move out, it won't be a problem in our house. Hi, Thank you for that resub with Prime. Another Primer? But thank you, hon. We're talking about addiction. <laughs> but thank you for the kind words, Nix. I appreciate you as always. I mean, you're probably in school right now, but thank you for coming in. Thank you for that Prime sub, hon. Being in denial is sad, yeah. I know I said we're not going to talk about the recent Twitch shit, but it's sad seeing everything unfold because it's just a prime example of what can happen if addiction isn't treated and seen in a light that people don't necessarily do it on purpose. Like, it's very easy to fall into those situations and not realize that it's getting to a really bad point, you know? Dude, I fell off! I'm in fucking six! Should I never play Margaret again? The people in my dorm are addicted to shaving in our shower. <laughs> oh, my dad is the only guy in the house and he's actually pretty good about cleaning up the sink after he shaves. So, you know, that's a plus. I almost clicked yes by accident. <laughs> Oopsie. Anyway. Another race, guys. Oh, easy way. No way I don't get first here. Oh, Nyx. Uh, since you resub, you're gonna get your name written and the sub owner journal as well. <laughs> and see, like, I've been offered to try um, vapes and marijuana it's legal in my state mind you plenty of times but i'm like nah i'm good even in like high school and being a rambunctious teen i never had the desire to because like i said earlier i have addictive tendencies so i'm not going to start anything it's also hard to maintain those habits like marijuana is fairly expensive still oh I fell off. <laughs> Addicted to hating this rainbow. Really? I think this one is the easiest of them all. I, I think my favorite has to be the N64 one with like the S-shaped turns. Like the blocky one. You dissected a human and it looks like mold if they got bad lungs. Chatters, I think that's a prime example. Wasn't it interesting? What was it? Five teen years ago when they mandated for like cigarette packaging to have like really bad, disgusting pictures of lungs after people smoke. And then people still bought it. It that, that's the that's the hard thing about addiction is because like once you get hooked, it's so hard to like rationalize yourself to stop or see like the bad underlying factors. It it's it's important to treat people with addiction with compassion and empathy. Like, it's not easy to just quit cold turkey anything. Like, you have to be willing to listen to them. You have to be willing to support them as well. Anyway. I got first, guys. Easy. Have you seen the video of Smoker's Lungs on TikTok? No. 
I haven't. What is my TikTok for you page? I gotta think about it. <laughs> Wait, I gotta farm. I gotta farm. <laughs> I'm trying to think. <laughs> A lot of my TikTok for you page, it used to be like a lot of small streamer clips, but then I just stopped watching those because I, I only saw it as a means to quote unquote network and engage with other people, but I didn't want to do that anyway, so I think a lot of my TikTok for you page now is queer people, because you know, I'm queer myself. A lot of like mainstream, I guess, meme videos, and then like, oh, I have a lot of cake decorating videos too, and like cookie decorating. And then, like, now I'm getting a lot of art, too, because I'm, like, I'm wanting to look at different, like, art and painting techniques. Like, I think my For You page is pretty normal. Like, it's, it's not too, like, niche yet. I'm, I'm also getting, like, a few true crime-type videos. Because there was about a phase, I think, two years ago, when I would not- Where I would non-stop watch true crime videos on YouTube. Because I was so fascinated to think that- or it was more so to like learn the warning signs and red flags of people that could be dangerous to you. I think that's why I like watching them so much. Like obviously you feel horrible for the victims and their families, but it was just interesting to hear their stories and like the investigations whether successful or failed. I think that's why I liked it so much. <laughs> whoa, whoa, Brad! Fuck! Hi, Bebron. Hope you're doing well today. Are you going to be able to compete on Sunday? You uninstalled TikTok? What? Huh? Kind of cringe. <laughs> Sorry, I was reading chat. I was reading chat. Exclamation turning for more info, hun. Fuck! I mean, freak. Back and first, easy. Oh, it's over, it's over, it's over. <laughs> Bananas only? You can't? Come on! It's not that bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> You've been slowly phasing out social media? That's honestly for the best. Like, as chatters know, I, I got a new phone, I think like two, three months ago now. Um, what you call it? And like, I have all my social media on that second phone. So meaning I only really use it to post clips and videos or like reply to comments. But I'm not opening like Twitter or TikTok like every 30 minutes like I used to. I maybe open it maybe like three, four times a day. So like my screen time is maybe like an hour on social media for the whole day between all my apps which is like the point i needed to get to because it was really bad like i was doing like three four hours of social media every day and that was a problem you ain't trapping me come on come on it'll be fun i promise <laughs> i mean you got a few days to think about it every run so Twitter and Reddit can stay because they haven't impacted your mental health at all. I think Reddit is the worst place on earth. No joke. I feel like people are so toxic on Reddit. Granted, I only hear that when Reddit communities like pop off. Like, I don't look at the happy, wholesome stuff because I don't go on Reddit myself. The only part about Twitter that kind of stresses me out is looking at the Discover or the News tab. Because, like, just seeing that so much negative things are happening in the world like domestically and internationally it really bothers me to think that such like inhumane things can be done or rights can be violated on such a massive scale like it makes me think that people are evil but then i have to understand that not everyone is born evil i think people's life experiences and the environment they grew up in shapes their personality and character and it makes them the way they are I thought I had that turn. This is the worst track in the whole freaking game. I hate it. I freaking hate it.
Oh, no mystery boxes? Cool. Not like I needed them anyway. I'm so far ahead. There we go. Easy. Twitter and Reddit make me slow down while Instagram and TikTok were mindless scrolling. I agree. Like, when I first got TikTok, like for the first month, I would post and not look at my For You page. But then after a month, I would stay on my For You page for like 10, 20 minutes. And then it got to like an hour when I would sit down and like just watch the For You page for an hour. But now, after I post, I'll maybe be on the For You page for like two minutes max. Like if it's a good video, I'll watch it all the way through, but... I don't understand the people who can spend like hours and hours all day on TikTok. I think that's... I, I don't ever see that happening to me. Okay, sorry. I, I gotta stretch out my leg. I'll miss the funny vids, but it had to be done. I feel like people repost videos all the time, so you'll probably find it on YouTube at some point. TikTok, how will I get my daily piece in underscore 17 clips? Well, I also have accounts on Instagram and Twitter that have the same videos along with YouTube. I have a clips channel. But I have a pretty decent sized following on TikTok, so I think it'll be fine. Because my engagement numbers are really high. When compared to like view count and stuff. Fuck, I saw it there. Or instead of following the offline social media, just watch every single stream. Easy. <laughs> fuck, you, come on. I mean, freak. How many times have I said fuck? We need a counter. Like I said, I do not swear jar. It's not worth I am a broke bitch. I have no money. I'm always busy, uh, I wish- uh, I don't want to say that I wish I could strange change my stream time, but like, I know if I streamed in the evening, more people would watch. But if I stream in the evening, that's when everyone is home. And it's cringe when I stream and the everybody in the house is home. You know, my parents are usually home, but like, my sister's room is right next to mine and she gets annoyed when I stream. She's like, you talk too loud. Or she's like, you're annoying and not funny. And I'm like, you're right, but you don't gotta tell me that. Would it change schedule if I move? It depends. Because if Megan moves out, I'd have to be wifey, so I'd have to, like, make breakfast and dinner. And then, if I'm able to drive, I'd have to drive my roommates to, like, work and shit. So... I don't know. I That's something we'd have to figure out. Oh! Computer rounds up! We can do online now! You like the morning streams? I do, too. Because I feel like... In terms of, like, my energy levels, I feel like the middle of the day is where I peak, and then I kind of crash. You're moving? I don't know. Not confirmed. That was the secret from Sunday. It's not confirmed. We're still in negotiations, so. Oh, I told my parents yesterday, and they were like, but this, 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 and this could happen if you move out. And I'm like, true. But it's like... I'm 23, my sister's 21, we should have some type of, like, normal young person experience and get, like, a roommate experience, you know? So. But they were like, you have to look at the crime rates! And I'm like, true. You guys are grown, they need to chill, literally. Literally! <laughs> Not them trying to shame you for moving out, literally, yeah. I mean, it's one of those things where they can't really stop us, so... Let's go. Cause 
because it's like, you can't expect your kids to stay with you forever. They're more so worried about my sister. Because she's on the spectrum, so basically I'd have to... I'd be the decision maker. But also, I have no money, so... Like I said, if we do move out, I'd be with roommates, so it wouldn't be just me and her. But that dynamic would be somewhat shifted in her favor, because she'd have a lot of monetary power over me, but then it's like, I have more intuition. So. Unless streaming makes decent money, then, you know... I told Chatters this, but when we launch the art channel, I'm only going to be selling original pieces. That way collectors don't need to get prints, they'll get original paintings. Hi Potato, welcome in. Yeah, chat went kind of crazy on Sunday. Anybody want to be number one on the leaderboard? Mod check? <laughs> Wait, I forgot this is online. I'm, do I'm in third, I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. You always seem like you have your best interest in mind. Exactly. That's what my parents are worried about. They're like, what if you make the wrong decision? And it's like, that's part of life, though. Like, you can't expect everything to go good all the time, you know? Like, we need to learn and live life. We, we can't live under their wing all the time. Because I've explained this before, but my sister and I were looking at apartments in early 2020, pre-pandemic, so we like, we were ready. But, just due to circumstances, we couldn't move out. But if I'm, if I'm, whoa, what the, <laughs> if I'm able to get some form of government assistance that can cover my share of expenses, then we're set, you know. Because Twitch technically doesn't count as income. Sorry, I'm mad. I knew it would take me back, so I got upset. I hate when that happens, though. When you fall mid parachute, it's literally dealing. Pull a bill! Give me that first place! No, I, I wouldn't be eligible for food stamps because food stamps consider your whole household income, so I'd only be able to apply if I lived on my own. Because right now, because my, my parents and my sister works, so right now, they make enough money, but I don't make money. Because food stamps is the whole household, not the individual. But there are benefits available to individuals who are at risk. So I myself included, because I have been able to work for a year. God damn it, I had it! I'm really mad. <laughs> Oh, is that how it works in New York? Well, I assume it's different for every state, then. Because I talked to a representative today, and they were like, Yeah, you can't get food stamps. But you can maybe get this instead. And I was like, okay, cool. So, hopefully that'll get figured out. In, like, two-ish weeks, maybe. But, yeah. My only concern is that since I don't have a diagnosis yet... But, I, I don't know. It's, like, so much, like... Uh, it was a hassle because I was initially told, oh, you should call your local offices. So I did. And they were like, well, we can't help you with that thing, so you'll need to call the state line. I'm like, okay. And then the state line was like, well, you can still call your local offices. And I'm just like, ah! It's just like in circles and circles all morning. But I just had to apply online, and it was fine. So I'm waiting on a response, so. Because, like, even if I can get, like, 500 a month, it would cover my share of rent.
But that's a lot of stuff that we have to get figured out before we can move, so... Whoa! How did it stay on? That was crazy. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna get top three on the tournament. I totally am. Does anybody think I'll get top three? Type one? No, in order to get disability for anxiety and depression, or I guess regulations are different in every state, but they're very strict. Like, you have to get an evaluation, they have to observe how you live your daily life. For depression, in some cases you have to prove that you've been on medication for two years. There's like so different, many different levels to getting disability for anxiety and depression. Like, it's a lot more difficult than having, like, a, a physical disability. Did I see the new cards, or the new tracks reveal for Wave 3? No, I haven't. Nobody spoil! Because I haven't seen. Because I remember it was shown in the Nintendo Direct and I had to mute the tab, turn off the video when I was watching it. <laughs> I would need proof on those professional, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's... It's very difficult to get disability for anxiety and shit, so. Because my doctor was saying my anxiety and shit isn't severe enough to wear. Because essentially you, you, get, you qualify for disability benefits if you can prove they are unable to work. And essentially my symptoms aren't severe enough yet. Which is <laughs> concerning, to say the least. Uh... So basically, I'm not fucked up enough. Yay! But it's whatever. L let's change the topic because I don't want to overshare, just for my protection. But... It's very- like I said, it's very difficult to get benefits if you have anxiety or depression. I'm in your walls. I'm gonna eat your ears. <laughs> It's kind of weird, not gonna lie. Oh, I kicked my desk. Oopsie. <laughs> what kind of copy pasta is this? No, don't make that the copy pasta. Don't, it's scary. Can we bring back the oldie but a goodie? This one? This one's the far superior copy pasta. Okay, I'm gonna try hard. Game in fifth? Key okay, chat, if I get any first and online, I'll gift you guys a sub. I'll do it. No, the exclamation don't is a mod only command. So you, you guys still have to copy and paste it if you want to use it. Because if I made that an everyone command, literally people- I know you guys would do it non-stop. <laughs> and also, stream elements com or chat messages don't show up on screen. So, VOD watchers wouldn't be able to see it anyway. Come on! Dude, I had this. I had like a solid third place. What even happened? Who's gonna participate on Sunday? Tab one? Who's gonna participate? 
Dude, I'm in fucking 11. Now I'm in last. I'm in dead last. Doesn't trap me. <laughs> that was a horrible run. Everyone is pretty evenly matched too. I don't I have no idea what happened there. That was disgraceful to put it lightly. I'm disappointed in myself, honestly. But you know, it'll be fine. We got lots of time to practice. Tournament's only on Sunday. It'll be fine. My friend said they tried the dream flavored coca-cola and they said it was ass is it good i don't even like regular coke anyway so like the can is cute but i don't think it's gonna taste good Why did homie throw a red shell when they were in goddamn last? It's like, you don't need to do me like that. soda anymore because I told myself I'm not gonna drink any sugary drinks I'm only going to have like milk water and sometimes juice so like I haven't had soda in a while and I had like a sprite two weekends ago and it was crazy like it feels almost acidic the carbonation now like I don't understand how when I was younger I would just gulp soda down and it's so unhealthy for you soda has so much sugar in it it's genuinely not worth. Oh, the diet sodas are even worse. I hate the taste of fake sugar. And they're not even that much healthier for you. Dude, what even happened? Oh, dark sodas are the worst. I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate dark sodas. Okay, what are you talking about, Nyx? We're not, we're not farming drama today. But Hassan is pretty attractive, okay? Pretty cute. I totally don't have five alt simp accounts for him. <laughs> Dude, imagine. What's a dark soda? Like a brown soda. So like Coke, Pepsi, Dr. Pepper. I like the lighter sodas like Sprites or fruit sodas. Yeah, caramel color, that's it. 
I think they're icky. I've never been the type to rely on energy drinks or caffeine to get through my day. Because I know, like, if I start, I'm gonna get addicted. And anytime I've had, like, energy drinks... I mean, coffee isn't too bad on me. Because, like, anytime I do get a coffee, it's gonna be, like, a super sugary, like, frappuccino or something. But anytime I have, like, an energy drink, I get super jittery. I get the shakes, so I just never have them. Because I remember, I, the last time I had it was maybe, like, three years ago. And I had maybe like half of a 16 ounce can. And I had the shakes for like a solid two hours after. And at that point I was like, I'm never having it again. Cause I remember sometimes my old um, boss, she would bring in like treats for us sometimes and she would bring in like energy drinks. And I'm like, nah, I'm good. And she's like, oh, you can have as many as you want. And I'm like, nah, I don't need those. Not worth. <laughs> It's bringing up the concept of like habitual eating too. Like I know once I start having like caffeine, I'm gonna like feel like I need it in my daily routine. Like I'd rather just drink water all day. Caffeine doesn't do much for me. That's probably because you have it so often. I always have the shake, so I don't notice a difference. Damn. Anybody think I can come back? I'm in ninth place. Sure, I'm just a jiggly human. <laughs> Maybe. Like, I've never been the type to, like, tap my feet, but I definitely will, like, tap my finger or my pen on the table. It, it's, like, stimming, I guess, right? any of these tracks. Hmm. Sorry. Chatters, only feel what- share what you feel comfortable with. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I, I, I chuckled because I saw Max and the Nyx messages right next to each other. <laughs> See, hacker? That's the way to go. Poppy once a year. Don't have energy drinks. Soda once a month. Tea bag early. Water. See, that's the way to go. You know, you gotta give your body good things. Oh my god, I got so annoyed at my sister the other day. Okay, cause it, okay, it's common knowledge that black tea gives you energy and then green tea calms you down, right? So, my sister, she's convinced herself whenever she has green tea, she gets energy. And then black tea is a depressant. And I'm like... No! <laughs> I mean, from what I've read, like, sometimes people do get the opposite effect. He goes, she was like, hey, can you make me some tea? And I'm like, sure. I'm like, which one do you want? She's like, I want, I want the green tea because it helps me stay up at night. I'm like, what? I'm like, huh? 
I think it's because the green tea we have, it's not like actual green tea. It's got like... It's like one of those fruit flavored green teas, so it's probably got like a fuck ton of sugar in it. That's probably what's keeping her up. <laughs> she probably has a crazy placebo. Maybe she's just crazy, I don't know. <laughs> I'm kidding. If she's watching, I'm kidding. She literally doesn't watch Twitch, so like, I can talk so much shit and she would have no idea. <laughs> The only time she watches Twitch is if I, like, show her a clip or something. And even then she's like, I don't want to watch it. But I'm like, come on, it's funny. Okay, that was horrible. But you have thin walls. You know, she's at work right now, though, so she has no idea. <laughs> That's why when she's home, I don't talk shit. That's why I tend to behave a bit more when I do a weekend stream. <laughs> Come on, 11 blinks! Fuck, I knew that was gonna happen. Hey, yo. Her deciding to tune in for the first time today. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. She wouldn't want to waste her 4G internet watching my stream, no way. Okay, so we probably got time for like four or five more races, guys, and then we're gonna switch gears to Animal Crossing. Chat is too funny, I'm laughing like a weirdo in the library. <laughs> I'd rather chat be funny than cringe, so I guess that's a dub. Okay, I suddenly got really hungry. I don't know why. Because I usually don't get hungry till like 3 p.m. and it's only 1 p.m. Hmm. Peace, I too. Hmm. See how, like, the light reflects on- where, where is it? This button? It's off-putting, isn't it? Because it's, like, really bright. Oh, so you know how I told you guys for the paintings, I want to try and use used canvases and repaint them over. So I was researching how to do it, and essentially there's several ways. You can soak the paint in alcohol, I think, and then the paint kind of softens and then you can scrape it off. Or you can sand off the paint, that way you get a smooth layer. But then you have to put gesso on it. It's like a- it takes like hours to do, so I was like, uh, <laughs> do I really want to do that? But I found some canvases that are pre-gessoed, meaning they already have like primer on them essentially. And they were affordable, let's say. Like they were like more expensive than like a, a blank canvas. But I was like, I might as well buy like new canvases that are pre-prepped. Like there probably will come a point to where I can buy like used canvases and stuff. It's just gonna be an issue of like it's obviously gonna be like probably like nine ten dollars to buy a painting and then re-fix it so ultimately it's probably cheaper to buy new canvases so i think when i first start i'm gonna only use new canvases and once i get like money from art then i'll go the route of like reusing canvases because i was telling my mom the logistics of everything last night and she's like yeah you know if it's cheaper to buy new then just start out buying new canvases i guess for now i was like yeah Oh my god! Just let me catch up for the love of god! You take paintings from the art- What? If people leave them, you're allowed to take them? What? 
Dude, I would be so mad if some motherfucker took my painting that I forgot in the classroom. Dude, I would not like Nyx. <laughs> Okay, chatters, pretend that the 2 and 12 is not there. Pretend I'm in first. Hey, yo. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I can't do this. I think everybody else is just way too good. I think they're the problem and not me. <laughs> the teacher said it's fine. Well, I would be sad. I mean, I guess it's bringing up the argument of, I guess, like, finders, keepers, losers, weepers. Like, I did supposedly take that ring that my dad found at the farmer's market. I think that just proves that my morals are inconsistent, right? Okay, I'm gonna redeem myself. I'm actually gonna try hard. I'm not gonna talk. Green shot could have come in clutch. saying anything. You guys can't make assumptions like that. <laughs> you guys are so stupid. <laughs> you know what? You guys ruined that race. You guys literally distracted me that time. coming and saving me. I can actually focus now. <laughs> you know what? Thank you, Hacker. I appreciate it. Okay. We got time for two more races. Oh, why are they all difficult ones? <laughs> Peace, I too. <laughs> okay, now I'm actually gonna focus. Now that we're an emote only one, thank you, Hacker. I appreciate you. Putting those chatters in their place, making me making such evil, mean assumptions to me, the diehard socialist. Wait, how many people are in here? Oh, we only got eight people playing. Easy dub, easy clap.
But I would just like to clarify for any clippers, I heckin love socialism. I hate the public transportation system. We should have more trains. Um, universal hair care would be amazing. I loved baked goods and I hate vegetables. Just want to make the record straight. Okay, now I'm actually trying. Get ready for top tier gameplay. So welcome in. Hope we're doing well today, hon. Okay, I'm doing pretty good. Fifth place, lap one, not too bad. Yes, VIPs get special privileges. They get to talk in emote and sub only chess. Sorry, I got clapped by a BOMB twice. I'm livid. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> Please, I just wanted to do well. There's only eight people on this race. This was my chance to shine. I had top four for a hot minute. Now I'm in fucking last! See, I can't even blame chat anymore! This is my mind! You know who else is gonna lose their mind? Non subs, because chatters. We are nearly another hour into stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. But you can avoid the ad break by subscribing for four ninety nine, just five dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad for viewing all month long. Or if you like your Amazon Prime, you can hashtag sub for with Prime every month just by linking your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account. Guys, it's crazy. It's free. After the ad, we're gonna do. One final give of Mario Kart. So if you want to see the game, subscribe. Easy clap. And then we're going to switch gears to Animal Crossing. So, chatter, subscribe if you don't want to see those ads. And if you got to see those ads, no problem. I just uploaded a new TikTok. So go like it, go leave a comment. I'd appreciate it. Also, it's been five minutes, so email only chat is disabled. Anyway, get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. Okay, this better be a good fucking race. Peace in 17 hates all chatters. No! I don't hate the chatters, it's just sometimes you guys can be annoying. Okay, I gotta get it. I gotta get a head start. I cannot talk. Okay, I'm gonna try hard again. Get him! Get him! Get the motherfucker! Like I said, Chatters, if I get a first today, you guys get a sub. Come on, get him! Get him! Hit him while he's in the air! They have a banana! No! I should have held. I don't support Jeff Bezos. I'm just. I have to make money too, you know? <laughs> guys, I'm doing so well. 
Why are you shooting behind you? You're so evil. You're so evil, Gaiman. Fuck you. You're really tailgating me? Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, no! I donate subs to give half my money to pay subs. Uh, no, I cannot disclose what my cut is, but different creators have different cut margins, so. Like I said, I, I cannot disclose my share, but. Dude, I was doing so freaking well. I had it. Hey, yo. Poor thing, too bad. <laughs> no way. At least she's still happy. I'm not happy. <laughs> okay, not to end Mario Kart on a negative note, but I guess we can do Animal Crossing now. Anyway, chatters. Uh, we are doing that Mario Kart tournament on this Sunday, so if you want to play with me and have a chance at earning a VIP badge, make sure you're here on stream from 11 to 12. Lobby is officially open from 11 to 12, but warm-ups start at 10, so be there early that we can get in the queue right when the tournament opens. So Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. It will be a bananas-only custom tournament. Did you know I'm actually a billionaire? Bruh. Don't be spreading slander like that. I freaking hate billionaires. Okay, well, I'm gonna change out the game. So chatters politely hold. What if you get top three in Mario Kart? Uh... Do I get an extra month of VIP? No. You can't double dip. You would just get claps in chat. <laughs> that hasn't happened yet, so. It's because none of my regular VIPs are sweats. Guys, I'm hungry. I might, I might go grab a snack. Shit, I shifted my camera. I tried to, like, lock my camera in position, but there's no locking mechanism on this camera. It's annoying. There it is. Because, like, I can't lock it in place for some reason. Ah! I don't like Hobby Lobby. It's a bit too religious, in my opinion. Would I just rob someone else of it? Yeah, exactly. I mean, technically, you would keep your VIP for longer. Because, like I said, you get the um, VIP badge for a month. So, basically, you lose your badge in the middle of September. Or, sorry, the middle of October instead of the end of October if you win the Mario Kart. So, kind of works out. Okay, let's change our title. Let's think of something funny, guys. Hmm. What is something funny? <laughs> Chatters, I think you'll like this. The forbidden art so <laughs> And they're gonna rely on the mid month Maggie sports events. I mean honestly. If those are gonna be sub only, then lobbies will be smaller. So totally valid. Key chatters, what do you think of my title? I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> I mean, controversial, but true. The most for real, for real stream you want. <laughs> That's stupid.
Okay. Sub chatters if you're new to stream. Um, how Animal Crossing works is we do our dailies. It's a bit more chill and calm than a normal gaming stream. So feel free to ask questions, talk to each other. Okay. <clears throat> Hello there, everyone. Right now in Timbalit, it is 1.09 p.m. on Tuesday, September 20th, 2022. I have an event announcement to share today. Oh, no. Okay, the last bug off of the season will be this Saturday. There will be a registration tent set up in the plaza from 9 to 6 p.m., so be sure to stop by if you can. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. Okay, well... Well, Chris, it looks like you need to study up. What are my thoughts on banning children? Wait. Hold. <laughs> what are my thoughts on banning children from the public? I think that should be enacted immediately. I think kids are super annoying, but it's mainly the parents' fault for letting their child be annoying, so I think all families should be banned from public. Controversial, but true. <laughs> I personally think it's a great idea. Me too. Type one if you agree. Type one if you agree. Like I said, I think we should ban the parents along with the child. Because the parent is letting the child be annoying. <laughs> okay, well, hmm, we have to think. If the bug off is Saturday... I don't know if I'll be home in time. Hmm. Okay, chatters, I'll make a promise. How many subs are we at? Oh. We're at 76. Hmm. Should I farm? Hmm. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Because, like, I'm probably not going to get home till evening on Saturday. And I don't want to time skip because time skipping is cringe. So, chatters, I promise if I can get home in time on Saturday, then we'll do a bonus subscriber-only Animal Crossing stream where we do the bug off. But that's only if I get home in time. Because we're doing a tour on Saturday. So, I, it shouldn't be all day, right? But I'm also gonna hang out with my friends after. So. It, like I said, if I get back home in time, then we'll do a bonus sub-only stream on Saturday. Handshakes? Oh, wait. Did it say from 9 to 6? Then I can do it in the morning. But then if I do it in the morning, then I won't have time to get ready. Hmm. I think it'll have to be in the afternoon if I get back home in time. I'll do it on Saturday. Are you mad that corporate came in and ruined your store? That's what they're supposed to do, Nyx. They're, they're supposed to come in and cause trouble. That's their job. What else are they gonna do? <laughs> about it the other day but you know how the normal work schedule is like a nine to five right then how come school ends at like two or three p.m for most elementary like i know only recently in our district they have like daycare at the school but it's fairly expensive but there are like different programs in which you can get a discount if you're low income or if you have like reduced lunch you get like a discounted rate but how come schools like end in the middle of a work day like it kind of forces families to get daycare seven hours is a long time yeah but i 
I don't know. It, it's hard. Like I said, having the short school day and then also the long work day forces parents to get daycare. Like, it'd be cool if they had, like, extracurriculars after school that your kid could take part in. That were, like, free. In, like, elementary level. Because, like, I know in, like, middle schools and high schools they have clubs and sports, but not really for elementary, right? Because kids are babies, they have to go early, uh... I mean, like, I know me as a student, I wouldn't have mind a longer school day. Because I feel like six hours isn't long enough to have, like, ample time to learn. Because when I was in middle and high school, we had six classes every day, not the three every other day. So we'd only have, like, 45 to 50 minutes per class. So there wasn't enough time to, like, digest everything. I think in our district, it's from, like, 9 to 3 for elementary. But then, you know, you gotta, like, kids out early because they gotta catch the bus and all that. Yeah, one hour longer isn't that bad. I agree. Because I'm trying to think back to, like, my normal work schedule. When did I... Because I didn't have, like, a full eight-hour shift, typically. Like, my shift used to be from, like, eight to two. Because, like, you don't want kids to be, like, left alone at home. Like, they should always have something to do or, like, a safe place to be. In the end, school is inconvenient, yeah. Why, why can't there just be free daycare? Thoughts? Dude, everybody would hate that. That's too much of a socialist policy. But obviously they can afford it. Because the, the families who are low income, they basically... The rates they pay for weekly daycare after school... Because I think our program runs to like 6pm. 6, 6 or 7, I think. Like, they pay like very little every week it's wild to think that the company can afford that because a good percentage of families are eligible for that in my region can everything be free no that would blow the capitalist minds they would like all these goddamn new generation libtard shitheads on tiktok want everything to be free they don't know what hard work is <laughs> Uh, I just think the government should be able to provide, you know? That's all I want. Why is toilet paper and gas so expensive? Because capitalism! Everything's for profit. If things weren't for profit, then everything would be s affordable. Did you see the articles in which California is trying to enact... What was it, like a 22 or $20 minimum wage for fast food workers? And then the article I'm reading is like, oh, it's going to hurt the whole working class because if fast food workers make a lot more money, then big corpo will make less money. Therefore, everything in the home market will have an increase in prices. And it's like, that's not going to affect the community to that degree. It's only going to affect the corporations. Like, <laughs> making my own country BRB. I mean, I think the most impactful people can do is not vote, but you should still vote. But be active in your local community and like local activism. Go to like your local um, like city meetings and that type of shit. Because a lot more change can be done at a local level than at an international scale. Or national scale, sorry. Dude, why do we talk about politics every time we do Animal Crossing? I think that... Is that a problem? Am I the bad guy? Am I the villain? I think the reason why I'm so interested in politics and like social dynamics is because what a lot of people's opinions and how they're formed and the way they believe it gives a lot of insight into their character and like 
either lack of empathy or their level of empathy they have for other people. Like, you ever talk to somebody and you hear a take and you're like, eh. And it kind of drastically changes your perspective or viewing of them. Like, I don't open up the gates in conversations with politics because that'd be wild and crazy. But as you get to know your friends and your family members, I think it's fine to like sprinkle in some questions and see what they think. Because to me, people are conditioned to believe what they believe, whether it be like their upbringing or where they lived. Um, but I think if someone can't defend what they believe with their whole intent and heart, then they don't actually believe it. Like, I've been able to shift my parents' and friends' opinions on certain things once they gain that perspective or they learn actual stats and statistics for things. Instead of just hearing, like, fallacies or, like, talking points. Might move to Canada, really? See, like, I don't think I'd ever immigrate. Because... I think... America is fine if you have money. That's the problem. And that's a big problem, mind you. Like, people shouldn't be expected to prosper when a lot of people live in basically third world conditions concerning poverty or, like, their living situation. Wait, I didn't change my outfit. Wait, hold. I need to look cute. Your job isn't to educate people. I think I'm indifferent because I think it's important to, I guess, share perspectives because the people who, who typically are uneducated lack that perspective or they just don't hear enough stories about people's lived experience. Like, I don't mind having hard discussions as long as people are willing to handle them maturely. Okay, well, there's nothing cute. I have a feeling America's gonna have a political collapse, but I don't want to. I don't want to be around for that. Uh, mm. I think America, over the past like five to ten years, you can see like the levels of extremism that is present when looking at like far right movements and also some movements in the left, but not nearly to the degree that right wing extremism has led to. I think it's a matter of when you have a population where most civilians have firearms. Okay, it, it's a very difficult discussion that can be boiled down simply. The people who use the argument of you have the right to bear arms, you need to think about the intent and why that right was enacted. Like, think about when was the constitution written? when we received independence from Britain, when we were basically, it was essential and necessary for makeshift militia to be made. So it makes sense why every civilian should have a firearm when we are at risk of being invaded again, right? But that is no longer a risk. Like America is number world, number one world power right now. So the belief that you need a firearm is irrelevant. Like it's not, really necessary and the argument of oh i need it for self-defense is valid in some situations but in most cases depending on where you live there's stricter regulations concerning like storing your weapons carrying your weapons in public so the people who are like oh you know i'd be the one who could who could take care of a bad guy with a firearm and it's like no you really think you can act accordingly in that moment you really think you'd be willing to um, kill someone in that circumstance? I really don't think so. And also, in terms of storing firearms for, like, home defense, you, you legally have to have them, like, locked up in a safe. So the argument in which I can use my firearm to kill an intruder, potentially, if I need to, it's like, no. That's not valid either. 
Like, in terms of modern society, I don't think modern people need a firearm. I genuinely don't believe they do. It's because the old, quite rich like me like to be old-fashioned. <laughs> that there's so many levels to it. But ultimately, we need to prioritize the general safety of the public. Because I know somebody in our town who was died because of an improperly stored weapon. They were 13. And it's, it's dampening on the community when tragic events happen like that. But ultimately, we've had several incidents of like lockdowns. Granted, not when I'm in school, but, you know, you hear in the news and shit in our area. Like, people die, and they're preventable deaths, and if someone can't look past their desire to have an item and not look at the greater good of their community, then that's a problem, in my opinion. If you don't have your policies or beliefs based in empathy, then you need to evaluate yourself. You ever see, like, a lot of people become activists after a tragic event happens in their community or in their family? It's because they don't want it to happen to anybody else. Anyway. <laughs> Look at us, we're cute now. Anyway, uh, it's like there's so many levels and people try to misdirect the conversation and try to fake make reasons as to what it could be, but they're just failing to look at the main cause of everything. Because ultimately, I don't want people to get hurt. I don't want families to be torn apart. Because I can't imagine not having my mom not come home from work one day. She works at a school for people who don't know. So. It's very easy to not care about issues if it doesn't affect you directly. But that should not be why you don't care about things. You should be, ca be caring about your community and humanity as a whole. You can't be so selfish to only care about things that affect you. I try not to think about this stuff, but it's more to talk about. I think there's a time and place to talk about things. I don't know. How did that tangent happen? We talked about that last time we played Animal Crossing. But it's just... It's an issue that has yet to be solved and addressed properly. Because the only time people talk about it is when there's, like, a mass shooting. And then they say, oh, I feel so bad. The person is so bad. Guns aren't bad. We do nothing. But people are still dying. <laughs> okay, bye, Nyx. I appreciate you hanging out with us today. It's a pleasure as always. Hope you had fun today, hon. You enjoy the rest of your day? As I talked about earlier, I try not to shun away from difficult conversations or confronting people as much anymore. Because I think the less you talk about things, it kind of shies away. It's similar to like the bystander effect. If you don't have people standing up for something or defending you, then it's just going to keep happening. <laughs> yeah. What, what you're saying is proving the point exactly. Like, people don't care about an issue unless it affects them directly. Like, the people who live in like higher income areas, they're typically unaffected. That's why the... The shooting that happened during 
the 4th of July parade. That was quote-unquote a good area. And it was marketed and portrayed that way, but it can happen anywhere. <gasps> Your dad is one? Oh no. Oh no. My dad tried to bring up that argument with me too, but I'm like, you realize that a student can take that firearm? You realize not all teachers would feel comfortable potentially like killing a student? It, th there's so much that could go wrong if more firearms are introduced into the school building. Because also, like, what if the SWAT team that goes in, they're, they're told, like, an adult with a gun, and then they see a teacher with a gun. They're gonna shoot first and ask questions later. Like, it's not... Another argument that was brought up, like, if they do enact those policies, um, for, for example, like, if the police kill someone ac accidentally, um, they're protected by the government. They'll get lawyers, they'll get paid leave, they'll get all the nice protections. Like, will teachers have that same protection if they accidentally kill someone they're not supposed to? Hmm. Hmm. Like, why should teachers have that protection? Yeah, more guns will not solve the problem, exactly. It's like, people keep proposing band-aid solutions that aren't gonna fix it long-term. Like, it might work for a year, but it's not gonna fix the problem. It's like putting a band-aid on a six-inch gashing wound on your knee. It's not gonna do anything. Yeah, reactors... Or responders will always be reactionary. I think everybody would change their mind if they lost a family member to a mass shooting event. I genuinely think that. And that's gonna be the reality that's gonna happen because they're so common. I have a distinct memory in junior high. It was during like a... Because we had monthly like pep assemblies. And it was during, like, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And they asked everybody in the school, Stand up if you know somebody that has been affected by cancer. And basically everyone stood up, right? The reason why everybody can come under the understanding that that is a horrible thing that can happen. One, obviously it's medical concerns, so it's not necessarily preventable. But... If more people know somebody or have been affected themselves then they'll, then they'll care about it more the only way the policy will change is if everybody experiences some form of hardship due to gun violence or negligence like i said i know somebody in our community they live a block or they lived a block away from us it was an accidental gun death at 13. i was um 14 at the time but even before then, I was still aware that guns are bad. <laughs> um, and, like, I will bring that up, because, like, I have a friend who's, like, super gun nut. Like, they're, they're rational, but it's hard to have a conversation with them, because anytime I bring up mass shootings, they're like, oh, th that's not us, that's not us. They're not, like, the good gun owners. But it's like, that's not the point. The, the point is people who shouldn't have firearms are obtaining them and there are not enough safeguards to prevent people who potentially could be dangerous from getting said weapons there's so many levels and it's unfortunate that people can't put the greater good over themselves anyway animal crossing we've chopped all our trees easy <laughs> Animal Crossing is so heckin' cool. <laughs> okay, bye next. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, so just the bug off. Got it. Like I said, if I have time on Saturday afternoon, we'll we'll do a bonus sub only bug off stream. Oh, 
Oh, really? That's interesting. <laughs> 30 minute conversation about politics and gun violence. Yay! Exactly. Dude, what if I became a political streamer? That'd go crazy. I mean, the only knowledge I have on a lot of shit is I watch that song. <laughs> I would just be like rehashing his talking points. Damn. Sorry, Hassan has 60k viewers. That's insane. What's going on? Well. <laughs> oh, okay. Just news. Hi, Kobobo. Welcome in. You came in at a good time. <laughs> but welcome in. Hope you're doing well today. You should collab with us, son. Dude, I keep telling you guys this. I want to get clouded enough that way I can go on a stream. I will watch Joe Rogan. I will do funny reacts. I'll do anything. I freaking love his content. If you guys can do that for me, I'd be forever grateful. I heckin' love her song. Twitch Gamba is whack. A little bit. A little bit. I missed the Valkyrie stream, but I'm gonna watch it later. Because I'm trying to catch up on his weekends from the stream. Or from the weekend. You came in late because you slept in? SMH, man. SMH. <clears throat> Shake my head. You know what? I wake up at 7.30 every morning. And then I do nothing until 9. Oh, perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Ooh, a barbell? Of course he'd be crafting a barbell. Imagine. Do any chatters who watch my stream- I know everybody who's in the live is in the live. But does anybody watch the VODs? Because the way the VOD views work, I think, is that it calculates how many people actually watch the stream and then people who watch it offline after. Does anybody genuinely watch the VODs after? Okay, what else can we do? Hmm. Peace, I too. Hmm. I think I'll drop off inventory. And then we can do a deserted island and grind some materials. You watched the Mario Party bot? Okay, cool. Cool. But you were there for that stream. I mean, I think the only time that I really watch bots for other creators is if I watch, like, the first half of a stream and then I watch, like, the second half offline. I think it also depends on what type of stream it is. Because I typically, well, I'm not like an active chatter as much anymore. Like, I usually just lurk and like listen to streams. You never watch them? That's okay. I just like, I want to get an idea. Because I think Wolf is one of the chatters who watches back like all the VODs and it's so cute. <laughs> I know Wolf is in chat, but hi, Wong, if you're watching later in the VOD. <laughs> I think the only VODs that I do watch is if I find comfort in, like, listening to their voice. Like, definitely, like, let me think of who I watch. Like, because <laughs> back when I was working, like, I would get home at, like, 10 p.m., and I would, because, like, I'd be at work all day, so I'd fall asleep listening to, like, Hassan streams VODs at night. So I just got so used to hearing his voice, where it's, like, a comfort for me. So, it which is very parasocial, of course, but... I don't really watch other people's VODs, unless it's, like, an event stream. Like, I'll watch, like, Maya's, like, Alvea streams, or if she does, like, the Animal Quest, I'll watch those. 
I like being there during the stream so I can understand what's going on in chat. I agree. Because, like, the chat for VODs usually shows up here on the right. It's always, like, somewhat desynced. Oh, Valkyrie doesn't get the VODs posted? I don't watch a lot of her streams, but I watch some of her YouTube, like, highlight videos. Yeah, because I've decided that all VODs will be up except if it's a sub-only stream. But if, like, similar to the Mario Party stream, I think that was a good stream, so I kept that one up. That way non-subs can see it. Because I want the sub-only streams to be, like, special, you know? So if you're there, you're there. If you're not, you're not. I think the best way to watch a stream anyway is to be there for the live. Because I think the biggest appeal to a stream is being able to engage and interact in the moment. You get to see, like, the person's reaction in real time. I think that's the biggest appeal to live stream content. Because, like, I thought about, um, recording YouTube videos, like, offline for gameplay. But then I was like, I can't imagine playing a game without a chat room or, like, having people to bounce off of. Because I feel like chat room is half the fun, usually. Because when I don't have things to talk about all the time, they usually got something for me to tag on to. Insert sub copy pasta. You mean this one? This one? <laughs> oh, I got a money island. Hey, yo. We're gonna be rich. We're gonna be rich. Stinking rich. I was thinking about what would be my dream stream schedule because if we are able to get that property then obviously stream is going to change but I think what I want to do is of course I would do art one day a week on the art channel I think I want to try and do cooking streams if I'm able to stream from the kitchen I think that'd be fun because I think the idea of cooking, like, either, like, family recipes or, like, a Cooking Mama-themed item, I think would be cute to do, like, every week. So that'd be two stream slots, right? For just art and then cooking. And then maybe, like, two days of gaming. But I don't- I still don't know what I want my main- main I don't know what, my, what I want my main game to be. Because I know Mario Kart is fun, but I'm kind of getting tired of it. Not that I'm tired of it, I just feel like I've peaked, like, I haven't gotten better in a while. And then we could do like another story game. Because I think in order to grow well on Twitch, you have to develop your personalities. And I, I feel like that's why like a lot of just chatting focus streamers do well. Because I think over the next year, I want my focus to be more creative things on stream. Not necessarily just gaming. Do a mukbang. That go crazy. You know what I was thinking? Because, like, I want to try and make, like, seasoned nuts. Or, like, try and make chips from scratch. Imagine I just make... I get a bowl of potatoes. I make a fuck ton of chips, all different flavors. And then I do a mug thing stream where I just eat them all. <laughs> when is the first art stream going to be? It's probably going to be October. It all depends on when I get my supplies in. Because I have my second camera. I have to figure out how I want overlays and branding to look. Set up alerts and such. Um, but I just have to wait for more supplies to come in the mail. Like, art supplies. Like, actual supplies. So that'll hopefully start at the beginning of the month. Or October, rather. I'm also thinking about what else I could do with that channel. Because I think I just want it to be just art. But I, I wouldn't be streaming like three days a week on that channel. Like it'd probably be like one or two streams a week. Because I think... <laughs> I'm thinking about how I want to do the overlays. Because obviously I would need to keep track of how long a piece takes to paint. So I think I'm going to have like... <laughs> obviously like a timer on screen. Like you know like the speedrunner timers. 
Because I want to do something similar on that channel where we, like, we thank followers and subs. So I'm either going to do, like, another journal for followers for that channel. Or I'll have, like, a painting that I draw on every day with different names for people who donate or whatever. But my goal is to get affiliate in a month or two on that channel, which I think is possible. Because, like I said, for affiliate, you just need... Not just, but uh, that's not a nice way of saying it. You need... Three average viewers, then 50 followers, so. Oh, yeah, you're right. We could do Drawful on that channel. Because I feel like most people would be, like, artists themselves if they enjoy art content, yeah? Hmm. Right, good, good suggestion. Write that down. Write that down. <laughs> oh, because then that would also encourage people to subscribe, too. Because, like, another concern I have is if I do have two channels, I don't want people... Like, obviously, each separate channel is going to have different benefits. Like, different sub emotes, different streams, right? I think the appeal to subscribing to the R channel would be, one, the streams would be longer. So, of course, there'd be more ads. Um, I'd want to make different emotes for that channel. I think... I'm not going to do screenshot emotes because that's what I want for this channel specifically. So I think I'd commission some custom like illustrated emotes to be made. Uh, people can draw stuff. stuff. That's why it's going to be subscriber only. That way you'd get clapped and we would know who'd be in the stream. <laughs> Hopefully. Because like for drawful and stuff you can hide the lobby code, right? We could do the thing where like I say it and then you guys type it in like we did on Sunday. You can also, like, hide the screen easily, or, like, I could have it off-screen. We would just have to make sure if we ever did, like, a draw full stream, I'd have to automatically unpublish the VOD. That way, and not have clips. Because, uh, what's a, what's a good way of saying this? Um, let's say some people can get away with things if people aren't able to capture it. Meaning... If people can't watch back your VOD, or if people can't clip things. Some people can get away with certain things that could be bannable, let's say. Because I know the main way I grow this channel is through cross-posting. So like posting clips like TikTok and YouTube and like the highlight videos that are on the main YouTube channel. That's how we get people to this channel. But I need to keep in mind, how am I going to grow the art channel? So I'm going to have to put a lot more time into, like, Instagram and TikTok in terms of, like, creating, like, art content. So... I feel like an art channel would be a lot more difficult to grow. Like, of course, I'd get crossover from this channel. I know some chatters are excited for the art channel, and that's really excited to hear. Like, honestly, honestly, I'll be honest. If I announced the art channel and people weren't excited, I would be very sad. I would be like, screw it. Screw it. But I'm glad some people are excited. Um, I'm excited too, because I, I just want to make stuff, you know? Um, but my only concern for that channel is it's not going to grow quickly. Which is fine. But I know if I did art all the time on this channel, it, it would kill it. It would kill this channel, because people expect gameplay on this channel, typically. You can do mini tutorials. Uh, I'm indifferent about tutorial type content because um, when you make social media, especially on TikTok, you have to figure out what your niche is, right? And people will only follow for that niche. Am I stuck? I can't go that way. Sad. And once you start doing tutorial content, or like tip, like you know, like the Twitch tip accounts, you kind of get stuck in that bubble. And it's very hard to get out of. And also, like, I'm not super, like, good at painting either. <laughs> like, I'm no bro. I'm gonna get all these hibiscus bushes to take back home because I have ample inventory space. 
So, my, my main point is, like, I'm basically, like, just spitballing around and, like, making out ideas to see what you guys would like as well. But... Because I think out of all the paths that I can take, obviously focusing on the main channel with, like, YouTube and Twitch, like, the gaming channel, this main channel, is gonna be the probably the most successful because people expect this type of content on Twitch. But I think the art will be better for, like, my long-term growth and establishment in, I guess, the art scene. Ooh, every time somebody subs, I switch color palettes. That, write that down. I'm actually gonna write that. <laughs> oh, yeah, we could do, hmm. Hmm. Because we can do a paint take every week and then, like, an art challenge, like, maybe every other week. It's actually a good one. Good job, Crystal. See, I just ask you guys for ideas and you give me them. We could do sub only draw full. And then, yeah, Crystal's got two banger ideas. <laughs> Other chatters get on it. <laughs> okay, so sub to change. Good ideas? And <laughs> that's why I'm the VIP. <laughs> yeah, totally not because you won the game unjustly. And screwed everyone over. That's totally not it. <laughs> but I think ultimately, I just want to make sure I have fun with it. Because I think the main appeal to an art stream is like, one, watching them do the work. And then also, probably two, actually talking to the chat room. Because I know typically for art streams that we do, like during the follower calligraphy, people are really active in that stream, surprisingly. Like, in terms of chat room. Like, I do get a lot more, like, unique viewers, because obviously the title is kind of crazy. But chat room is really active for, like, the first hour, typically. Um... And then it kind of, like, slows down after an hour, because that's when, like, people get their, like, thoughts out, initially. So I need to figure out a way to get people engaged for, like, a longer four to six hour painting stream, you know? Like, that's all stuff that I've been, like, brainstorming, like, off the side and stuff. Because I think a lot of people think... I think a lot of people think. I assume a lot of people think that streaming, you just go live... And then you play game and then that's it. But it's a lot more than that. Like, I know typically the way I have things formatted, like, I play the game and I talk about things. But that type of format is solely dependent on if my chat room is active or not. Like, if I don't have people chatting, then I don't have things to talk about. I don't have people to bounce off of. Like, it's fine if chat is dead. I don't... Okay, it's not that I don't care. But I just feel like... I need to make my content and stream in a way that encourages people to chat. Like I said earlier, like, my chat room compared to, like, my viewer count sound, or my viewer count average, is really high when compared to other people my size. So, I have to make sure... I format everything in a way to where I want people to engage. Big introvert things, I totally get that. Like, I know I myself, over the past year, I don't chat as much as other people's streams. How else could we have had the fun political conversation if we weren't active? Exactly. <laughs> Can I just say, a lot of people left when we started talking about gun control. <laughs> Which is fine. It's fine. It's obviously a heavy topic and controversial. But, you know. Something that's gotta be talked about. Like, these are all things on logistics I have to take in consideration. Like, that, that's why, that's the main reason why art streams would be on a whole different channel for that reason. That way I can fully figure out what works and what doesn't on that new channel. Because like I said, I don't want to kill this channel. Okay, I'm going to plant these hibiscus bushes. Oh look, they're so pretty. <laughs> Only real... Peace in underscore 17 fans <laughs> watch through com tough conversations. Exactly. Only real ones. 
Okay, honestly, honestly. I feel like since I'm openly progressive and like a lefty, I feel like you attract those types of people. I think that's also why we don't have a lot of fucking debate Andes. It's like one of those things where... I Thank you, Mac. I appreciate you saying that. Because like... I think offering a moderately safe place is appropriate. But I don't think it's good to isolate yourself in a single mindset, you know? And then also... Like, I think it's fine to contradict people as long as it's done in a productive way. Like, it's different if you're attacking somebody for, like, how they look. But if you're criticizing someone for how they act or what they believe, I think that's appropriate. Because I'm a debate lord, okay? I will defend what I think and believe till the end. My family, every holiday, talks about politics. We don't. The, only, the furthest we'll get is that my grandma will be like, Oh, I don't like this type of people. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> but we don't go further than that. And I'm just like, awkward. You love having actual conversations? That's good. I mean, I know chatters go kind of quiet whenever we do have those conversations. And I get kind of scared. But people still stay. So that's good. Everyone here has been so fun. I'm glad to hear that. I think it's bringing up what I talked about earlier when we play a Mario Kart. Like, I'm very firm if I need to be. That's why we don't have any annoying shithead chatters. Like, if I don't like what you're saying, then I will stop it. I'll make you stop. Because ultimately, if you make me uncomfortable, then you're probably making other chatters uncomfortable as well. So, hmm, think about that. Yeah, I will never... I will never approach a heavy conversation like that with immaturity because I think with conversations that are related to like people's lived experiences or trauma you don't know how it's gonna affect people so you have to make sure you do so in a, like a mature civil way that way you're sensitive to everybody involved you know he sounds like a freaking libertarian <laughs> I'll talk to my dad and he's like, yeah, I'm a Republican. I'm like, why? And he's like, because I grew up that way. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and I'm like, but a lot of his values, like, they're centrist. So they're basically, like, center-right. So libertarian. My fam is low-key Republican and, and I hate it. Well, I think it's one of those things where you have to understand that your identity is not just solely associated with your family. So if you're in a place to where you can have heavy conversations and they won't ostracize you or treat you any differently then feel free and have those conversations but if you don't feel safe then just don't bring it up and we're poc too which confuses me that's a whole that's a whole nother topic on that's a whole nother topic i I've, I've talked about this before but there's a reason why there's a lot of poc that go republican and it's wild because a lot of republican values are are like, based on hating POC. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's, it's a wild. It's a wild. Your family's mixed with political parties and values. That's interesting. That's really good to hear. Okay, let's see. Let's put our stuff away and then shift gears to you laugh, you freaking lose. We've been chatting long enough. I think the reason why people gravitate towards Trump is because he's the figurehead of the Republican Party. Oh shit, I didn't mean to pick that up. I haven't played Animal Crossing since the last time we did it on stream, so like a week ago. It's because my sister's been playing so much goddamn Splatoon! Okay, well, I think we're gonna go ahead and 
end it here for Animal Crossing today. Thank you guys, or thank you guys for chatting. We're gonna go ahead and switch gears. Do you laugh? You freaking lose. So, why did my camera fucking shift? Sorry, I got angry. I I literally can't lock it. The, it's annoying as frick. Oh my god, it's my couch. See, look, I I can't even lock this in place. My dad voted for Trump twice. Oh my god, actually, like <laughs> sorry, that wasn't nice. But that wasn't nice. <laughs> Ooh, listen. I'm not gonna leak what my dad voted for, but let's say he changed his mind after Trump ran twice. Or went for re-election. Let's put it nicely. I think that's the unfortunate part, is that people have really rely their identity with the party. But people have to understand, just because you don't like the figurehead, maybe you don't like the whole party values. Imagine! Okay. <laughs> So, I'm gonna save the game. Is Trump running in 2024? I don't think he should. Just based on his crimes in Mar-a-Lago, he should not be allowed to. I think also... I don't know if he could win again. He's not that old. Trump was the oldest running president when he was elected. Where's my family are libs? Libs are better than Republicans, but they're they're just too much of a wimp to say they're diehard Republicans. Me and my sister are progressive, obviously. If you can't tell. There are still people who think Trump is president. I know, it's psycho shit. It's actual psycho shit. Some people are D.U.M. I think the one thing I do not like about Republican values and policy and the way that they market themselves is they intentionally target the uneducated, they target the skeptical, they target the theorists, the people who will believe anything they say. He sh I don't I don't agree with the argument that he shouldn't be allowed to run without political experience because I think that automatically ostracizes people who could have possible influence. Like if you're saying. Because typically people who are able to run for office have money. So if you're saying that, oh, they shouldn't run because they just have influence. I think, because usually, like, the, pe pe the path people take to, like, parliament or president is that they run at local elections first and then, like, gain influence there in, like, their local communities and then go for presidency. But, um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think it's wild that he went for presidency right away. The only, okay, if Trump wasn't a celebrity, would he, have, would he have won? Probably not. Probably not. Okay, enough fucking political Andy shit. <laughs> it's funny, haha, -ha, YouTube time. Megan for president? I would need money to run for president, dumbass. That's literally what I just said. Unless, you need, like, literally, like, millions and millions to run for office. It's insane. Even for local office, you need, like, at least 100 gay. <laughs> Why are we talking about politics again? It's because we're fucking lefties. We can, we're can we not allowed to have jokes. We just talk about politics all day. <laughs> okay, anyway. Let's change the topic. Then I'll open this stream with, like, we're talking about talk about current issues, right? I lied. No, I said we just weren't going to talk about the Twitch shit. <laughs> if you give me subs, I'll run for president. Should we make that our title? <laughs> Guys, wait. Is that allowed? I don't think that'd be allowed. I'm trying to think. Sorry, just plugging my YouTube. Ignore me. Because you have to disclose all donations you get for your campaign or ma majority of your donations you get for campaigns. Would that be allowed? Somebody, moderators, look this up. <laughs> no, I'm not even old enough. Don't you have to be 35 or some shit? No. It's 35, right? To be president? Dude, I would... I don't want to be fucking president. 
<laughs> then I'm so I know who you are if you ran. True. True. <laughs> Dude, is that how I'm gonna get his attention? <laughs> okay, I gotta change my title. Hold. I'm gonna go to full cam. Because when I edit, I'm gonna get annoyed if I see that I'm on that scene for too long. If I laugh. Or if I laugh, you gift me subs. <laughs> Dude, if I make that title, I'd get in so much trouble. Not in trouble, but... You gotta be ancient. It's 35, right? I mean, 35 isn't that old. You can get Hassan to help with your campaign. He does bring, like, local... Like, politicians on. You are right. Well, it's settled then. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah, nah. Okay. Anyway, chatters. You guys know the rules. If I laugh, I end stream. And if chat laughs, type one in chat and tell me what made you laugh. Or chat. Okay, new rules. New rules, chat. If you laugh, you have to gift a sub. I'm trolling. I'm trolling. <laughs> Unless. Wait, it's muted. What is that? Butter gone. The dog with the butter. Butter gone. I'll put the butter on him. The dog with butter the butter. Dog. I'll butter put the butter on, the on him. Butter gone. Who the <gasps> Oh no. That's what that dumbass gets. Yo, get in. Get in. Why do you keep laughing, bro? All you gotta do. Spirit. Wait, did I run an ad? Wait, I didn't run an ad. Chatters. Um. We are three hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. You can avoid the ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Keep your copy and get ad for viewing all month long. Or it is September, so meaning all new tier ones are 20% off. So if you want to see the rest of this video, subscribe, easy clap, or cross your fingers and hope you get it gifted. Anyway, after the ad, we're going to continue the you lose and then thanking subs. Sorry, I totally forgot. I'm going to get in trouble. Back to the video. Wow, its eyes are so blue. I thought your phone was broken. What do you just... I want to watch that again. Oh, he landed right on his head. Oh, no. That's so embarrassing. Yeah, he probably like broke his freaking neck. Oh, my God. Banana tourney on Sunday. That had to be edited in. The way that was that loud. Really?
Oh. Oh my god, those are all kittens. Oh my god. Yeah, this is stupid. Not funny. I will never understand zoomers. So wide. He's eating the fucking plant. What is it doing? I agree, I never thought The Simpsons was funny. Or like any American cartoon, to be honest. I just realized how big that lizard is. Its eyes were funny. I think that's a chinchilla, yeah? Yes, yeah, a chinchilla. It's fur so long. Um. Okay, well, I didn't laugh that time. I didn't even get close. Like I said, if you give me a Mario Kart meme, I will laugh my ass off. Anybody laugh? Anybody get got? Like I said, if you laugh, you gotta give me a sub. I'm kidding. I'm kidding! Okay. <laughs> I think I'm also gonna change um the YouTube overlay to where it's just gonna be like full screen video and then cam in the corner. I think I'll change that for tomorrow, so. Okay, so chat us. We got two resubs today. Two primers. Imagine. Crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the thank you subs click for general. You guys know the drill. If you sub share a gift. Then I will write your name. Or you can use your channel points for free. Unless. <laughs> Unless is so good. Oh, I gotta put music on. Sorry. I forgot.
Hey, yo. Oh, there's no border on my cam. Huh? There it is. I you. God, look, Titans on TV. <laughs> oh, I heard a USB unplug. Did you guys hear that? Okay, well, everything's there. Huh. I don't think I unplugged anything. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Windows 11 noises. <laughs> Gotta go? Okay, we'll see you later, Mac. Hope you have a good one. Pleasure is always hanging out tonight. Okay, so first we had Batty with a five month resub with a prime. Imagine. Oh, that's the wrong color. I almost fucked up. I mean, messed up. I think it's funny because I call Batty Batty, but it's Mr. Batty. Baddies in UK, so it's late for them. I feel bad sometimes because I know we save calligraphy for end of stream. Like, I would do this throughout the rooms, throughout stream, but I feel like it'd be too distracting. No chatters, just so you guys know, our sub goals did update because we hit two yesterday, so thank you. There's so much glitter on my hand. You guys can't see it, but there's like so much like glitter powder. It looks like I ran my whole goddamn hand across the page. Why? Sorry, I don't know why there's so much glitter on my hand. It's all over both my hands. I I didn't even touch anything on my left hand. Sorry, I'm <laughs> Why- why is there so much? Sorry, I'm- <laughs> I'm stunned, look. Which monkey ball? I don't know. I just bought whatever I saw at GameStop. Looks like YouTube Shorts is monitors. Really? Ooh, did they announce that today? If so, is it in, like, the creator dashboard, like an article or something? I thought you were saying bad, you know, their name is Mr. Bad. <laughs> Sorry, there's, like- it's not like glitter glitter, but it's like, you know when you have like glitter lotion? Or like those glitter, like, perfumes? I just have like all these tiny glitter pigments all over me. What the fuck? Is it on my- it might be on my desk. Sorry, it is- I'm hyper-focusing on it. I have- I don't have any OCD or anything, but- I might be a hypochondriac. I was talking to my doctor, and they're like, you show some signs of that. And I'm like, fuck. I'm like, damn. Add that to the list, am I right? <laughs> I wish I could I mean I can figure out how to um, port my Wii because I know you have to have certain chords and shit to like capture Wii footage but I would love to do a Wii Fit stream 
that was that was one of the initial stream concept ideas I had. Once again, thank you, Batty, for the five month resub. Crazy. Um, because the concept was I would play a game like normally. I didn't do guidelines again, dude. I thought the Fortnite stream was a joke. No, it's an actual goal. So four. You play Wii games on the PC? No, I want to play Wii Fit though. Because my initial stream concept was going to be I'd play games for like two hours and then do Wii Fit for an hour. And then the YouTube video idea was, um, oh, you can port it from your computer? Oh, I'll look that up then. I <laughs> love Bao. <laughs> but thank you, Titan. <laughs> uh, the, the idea was like, how much weight can I lose a month playing Wii Fit every day? But then imagine I lost no weight. <laughs> and then I was thinking about it more. It's like, if I actually did that video, imagine how many fat comments I would get. I, I just didn't think I could handle it. But I think that'd be a fun idea to do. I also have Ring Fit on the Switch. Oh, it's like emulation? Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, Chatters, so this is gonna be the last name for today so you can either donate to the channel or use your channel points and i'll write your name for free Wait, what is this video? Oh, it is. Okay. Sorry. I don't recognize this playlist. Green? Okay. Thank you for redeeming Cobalt Boy. I appreciate it. Because sometimes these remixes aren't royalty free and I got scared, but I checked this one before. Cause like I was thinking about for like the art channel, should I play like royalty free music or game music? I honestly think game music is the way to go. Maybe a two five month resubs today. Crazy. Like it's it's wild to think I've been streaming since August of last year, so a little over a year and I was eligible for affiliate after six months I like it's it's nice to think that streaming is doing well for me in such a short amount of time game music is better I agree I agree. Okay, so once again, thank you, Nyx, for that five month resub with Prime. Yeah, I agree. You put it perfectly, Culpable, because I don't listen to game music on my own. But if I'm doing something else, then I can enjoy passing the time. Wait. So what's up for me with Prime? Yeah, both names were in today were both primers. It was funny because Batty subscribed when I talked about Prime subs. Lama. Yeah, hashtag sub for free with Prime. Everybody, check right now if you get a Prime available. Okay, anyway, last call, last name of the day. We had Kobobo with their channel points.
There we go. Kobobo. First time for everything. I think that's the second time I've successfully farmed a prime. Because the other time was Vora, I think. Okay, chatters, last call. I'm putting my pens away. Last call. Let's go. Your prime is linked to your mom's account? Don't be embarrassed, dude. Just you with their prime. That's what I used to do with my dad's. Because, like, before I had my own account, I used his for my prime subs. Wait. My camera shifted again, didn't it? Anyway. Oh, wrong way. I can link my alt account to my dad's Amazon. Hmm. Peace, I too. Hmm. Okay. Dude, it fucking shifts again. I need to figure out how to lock this guy. I might have to duct tape the goddamn tripod. I'm gonna, I'm losing my mind. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I need to calm down. <laughs> okay, nobody's live, big Sag. Anyway. So. Good stream today, guys. Good stream. We got some... We got some... <laughs> He said dubs and Mario Kart. We got close to... Did we even get close to, like, top three in online today? Maybe. Um, get a wreck? Tell me. Because, like, I can lock how I angle my tripod camera, but I can't lock the rotation of the, 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 the dongle. It's annoying as fuck. I guess also because my floor is angled. Oh, to play Beat Saber... I have no room to... You want to see how small corners? I can go to here. I would li Whenever I would play Ring Fit on the Switch... Oh, raid? No, I don't like when people guide the raid. Guiding raids is cringe. I only raid out to people that I know. So, that's the main reason why. Because, like, I was thinking about it. And just because I can guarantee, like, a safe place... Um, doesn't mean other channels can so, there's so many reason why. I, I don't mean to, like, grill you specifically. I'm just saying in general. Anytime anyone asks, I, I express the same thing. Um, but. Nah, I only rate out to people I know and trust, so. I think it's weird when people rate out to strangers. Like, genuinely, I think it's kind of sus. Uh, but anyway, anyway. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I'll be live again tomorrow. We should have a normal stream schedule this week, guys. So, I will be live again tomorrow with Fall Guys. Donations and incentives will be enabled. And if I win, check your subs. Um, normal stream, so tomorrow, Fall Guys. Thursday, SMU Deluxe. If I can get home in time on Saturday, we'll do the bonus sub-only bug tourney event in Animal Crossing. And as you guys know, we are doing that Mario Kart tournament on Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. So, if you get top three, you get VIP. Lobby is open from 11 to 12, but it does open at 10. So, be there early on Sunday, guys. Um, before I go, last couple things. If everybody could politely go follow my art channel. Art streams will be starting soon. Hopefully, in the beginning of October. So, look forward to that, guys. And if you all are real ones, you would make sure you're following all of my offline socials. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. Go follow right now. Right now, I need to build up my Twitter more, to be honest. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Today was a good stream, once again. Thank you, everybody, for chatting. Lurkers, too. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I appreciate you spending some time with me. And thank you, Batty and Nyx, for the resubs with Prime. Thank you for helping support the stream. Okay. I had fun today. I was excited for stream, and I'm glad it went well. So thank you, guys. I know there's been, like, a lot of stuff going on with the Twitch community, but I hope... Today was a nice, like, escape from everything. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye, guys. <laughs>